my son to marry you because of your background. You come from a background and family of warriors. And a woman as you is needed in the royal home. Thank you for your kind words, Sonyeze. I married your son because I love him so much. And we've grown together to be one. So I would do anything for him. I need you to understand that having been married into royalty, enemies of the king will do everything to destroy royalty through you. Yes, I'm aware. And I promised myself never to bring shame to the royal home. Thank you for that. Marriage is an agreement between a man and a woman. And in that agreement, they must walk towards it for it to see the light of day. I am committed to this relationship, Onyeze. I prayed all my life to be part of royalty through marriage, and it happened. So I will protect this marriage with my life. Good to hear that. I need you to understand something. A woman has a lot of roles to play in managing the home front. The woman who wishes to remain in marriage must be able to tolerate a lot of things. When you say, is there anything you're trying to tell me? Any time any issue arises between you and my son, I want you to treat it as a woman. You are looking more beautiful these days. Thank you. <laughs> I you have to. Mm -hmm. I like the way you smile. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mm. I can't believe you're finally getting married. And why did you say that? After everything Nika did to separate us. Well, she's a loser and she will continue to lose. You see, <laughs> but Obim, uh, that maiden went so far. How do you mean? <sighs> she went as far as poisoning your father's mind not to let you get married to me. My father? Why would she do a thing like that? Oh, because she wants you for herself. She wants you to marry her. <laughs> and her greatest weapon was using the fact that you and her are from the same community and I'm from another. <laughs> that means she's not aware that our community and your community intermarry. She is fully aware. But <laughs> she will stop at nothing to destroy what we share. And I'm glad she lost out. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't say that if I were you. Because the Ineka we both know would do anything, just about anything, to get what she wants. And the Ineka we both know is a loser. Now, Obin, can we stop talking about losers and talk about something more beautiful? Like of, our love? Of course. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here, right? So tell me, when can I come and see your people? Okay, anytime you want. Mm, anytime. <laughs> Okay, let's see. How about... Okay. In the next three Kimaket days, I will come with my people. Oh, my! <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Okay, but you say you're really serious. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, oh Kim, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Kim, that is going to be the happiest day of my life. Yes. Same with me. Right. Don't worry. It's definitely going to happen. <laughs> <laughs>
You did not just say that. Eh? Of course I did. Nana, you're the only person that can help me. You're my last one. Then I am very sorry to disappoint you. I will not do it. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. I am very, very sure. See, Neka, if there's anything else I can do for you, I will gladly do it. And you know. That means I'll have to go ahead to tell Mazina man that you have a hand in his daughter's death. Yes. How did you know about that, Neka? Forget how I got to know about it. Just set hand to propose in my favor. And we all have nothing to worry about. Neka, what you are telling me is that you are prepared to blackmail me if I don't help you. Neka, is that what you are saying? You may name it anything you want. I'm already set to do what I want if you fail to do so. You know me very well, I'm in Neka. I never go back whenever I'm ready to do something. Okay, see you later, okay? Neka, come on, let's still... Neka! She will never ever change. Greetings, Papa. How are you, my daughter? I'm fine, Papa. Papa, how are you too? I'm fine. Aha, uh -huh. your mother said you should come to the market and help her. Hmm? Oh, okay, I will go, Papa. But before I do that, there's something I want to discuss with you. <sighs> You're always free to talk to me. Yeah, what is it? Papa. Nina Buffet has asked me to marry him. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> Very good news. Listen, I've been expecting him to say this all this while. Yeah? Ah, I'm happy he finally came up with his intentions. Yes, Papa. That's he, good. He said he wants to come and see you. He wants to come and see me or come and see us. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yes, Papa. Oh, okay. So, uh, when do they intend to come? He said in the next three AK market day. Three AK market days. Yes, okay. Papa. In that case, I'll have to inform your uncles. Hmm? Thank you, Papa. Yes, so that we'll be ready. I have to inform them, so we'll wait for them. Yeah? Thank so you when so you much. see him, tell him we are waiting for him. Yeah? Thank you, Papa. So we are waiting for them, the entire village. Let them come. Papa, thank yeah, you. Here, yeah? Thank you, Papa. That is good news. Mm. Okay, so um, hey, that is very nice and brave of you, my son. Thank you, You Papa. know? I have been expecting you to come up with the idea of making Ujunwa your wife. And I am happy you finally did. Papa. Papa was only waiting for the right time. Oh. Uh -huh. yes, this papa. is the right time. Yes, Papa, it is. <laughs> um, so, when are we going to see her people? Uh, papa, I told her in three AK market days, Papa. Three AK market days? Yes, Papa. If you ask me, Three AK market days is too far. Papa, it's not too far. You know, I need time to prepare myself very well. And also put things in order so as not to put you or our kinsmen to shame. Uh -huh. Yes, Papa. And is her, is her father aware oh, of yeah. this arrangement? Yes, Papa. His father is very much aware and he's ready. Uh -huh. Yes, Papa. What did he say? Um, I believe he can't wait to have us as in-laws, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too, and that we go a long way in strengthening the relationship between our kingdoms. Yes, Papa, you are very right. <laughs> <laughs> My son, Papa. Nika, what's the meaning of this? Stay away from my man, Ujunwa. Who is your man? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, so no need of asking. I don't know who you're talking about. How dare you try to walk out of me? Are you mad? Nika, what's your problem? What wrong have I done to you? Ujunwa, you have done everything wrong to me by going after my man, Nabife. I want you to stop seeing him. Never. <laughs> that means you're calling for war, and that war you should get. And does it look to you? Like Ujunwa is afraid of war. <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. If I do not have him, you will not have him, Ujunwa. <laughs> it is very glaring that you are a joker. I'm not joking with you. No. Okay. In that case, you have just drawn the battle line. <laughs> yes. I'm ready to go to war with you, Ujunwa. Bring it. What? 
What is the problem with this lady? Why does she go around the community looking for trouble? Lichia, I hope I did not stress all of you over this unplanned meeting. Oh. Not, not at all, all Your Majesty. Not at all. Yeah, I don't know. My very good friend, the King of Aziama, has extended an invitation to me to attend his Iriji festival. And I intend to attend with all of you. Oh, my man was a few. He's very good, Your Majesty. So, when is the festival taking place? Yes. By the next Eke Market Day. Oh, that would be enough time for us to prepare to attend. I know I can trust all of you. Now the question is, what shall you present to him as gifts on this special day? Uh, Your Majesty, I would suggest um, the gift of goods and fowl will be fine. And maybe some kegs of palm wine. As, as, as well as uh, some kegs of palm oil, Your Majesty. Very good. Very good gifts. Ichiyacheke. Sit with that. All these items are made available by the next Eke Market Day. You don't look happy. What is it? Neka is at it again. What has she done again this time? She came to warn me to stay away from you. Warn you? How? I should be asking you that question. Nabufe, what do you have with Neka? What do you mean, what do I have with Neka? You of all people know that I have nothing with Neka. You keep saying you have nothing with Neka. Then why does she keep claiming that you are a man? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I don't know anything. You keep saying you don't know. But this time you will have to know. You need to know this time, else I will be forced to terminate the marriage plans. No, uh, no, my love. Come on, it has not gotten to that extent yet. It has. You and I know that Neka is a desperate maiden, and she will go to any length, just about any length, to get what she wants and to get it accomplished. And that includes killing me. She will do nothing to you. <laughs> Look at me. Just forget about that crazy neck of a maiden and her stupid empty threat. No. No. Nabufe, please. This time, you will have to settle Neka. Please. Find out what she wants and settle her. I don't want to drag a man with a maiden. I, I don't have that strength. Please. It's okay. I've heard you. I will do as you said. Please do. I will. Now put on some smile on that face. I want to go to my car before. Come on now. Let me alone. Oh, Bim. Greetings, Your Majesty. You must be the guard. The messenger from the king of Omu or Ganigwe. To what do I owe this visit? His Majesty, the king of my kingdom, has asked me to tell you that he has received your message to attend your New Year festival. And that he will be attending with all his chiefs. Oh, good. Good. Uh, please send my words to him and tell him that I will be so happy to host him and his chiefs during the New Year festival celebration. Your message will get to his ear on Yezi. Good. I send my regards to him. Thank you, Your Majesty. I beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. No, you cannot believe it so far. You have come face to face with the king of Eziyama Kingdom. And as you are leaving, something must have to live with you today. Thank you, Your Majesty. See to that. But we are leaving. You will right. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Whatever thing you think you're doing in Neka will not work. 
Whether you like it or not, I must marry Ujumwa. I would not be alive to see you get married to anybody. You have continued getting away with a lot of things. But see this one, it will not work. Eh? Yes. Then be prepared to die. Be prepared to die in Neka because I must marry her. You will not take away my virginity and get married to any other maiden. That won't happen. Is it by force to marry you? Yes. It became a thing of force the moment you took away my virginity. I will not marry you. And you know it. I mean, who is that man that wants to marry a troublemaker like you? Oh, I'm not a troublemaker because I'm telling you the truth. Be prepared not to get married to any other maiden because I will make it work. That sounds to me like a threat in Neka. You can call it anything you want. But the bottom line is that I will not be alive to see you get married to any maiden. Ne ne Neka, Neka. I understand how hot you feel. But you know this is not my fault. Now be fair. You did not fight for me. That is why we are where we are today. How, how do you mean? If you had defended me in presence of your parents, they would have accepted our relationship. But because you have seen someone else and you already see me as a troublemaker, as you just confirmed, you joined them to paint me black and blue. Neka. Don't even put that blame on me. Don't. Of course, I'll put the blame on you. You did not fight for me. You know if it was me, I would have fought for you. But this is the time for me to correct all the whole wrong things you have done. Then maybe it's time you start answering the questions. Everything that has been said about you, Neka, is any of them wrong? You don't expect me to answer the question. Well, as a way forward, my dear, you should start answering. I will not answer the question, okay? Gods of our land. Greetings. Greetings. What brings you to the abode of the king? I have a message for the king. The king is sleeping and cannot attend to anyone right now. Maybe you drop the message with us when he wakes, we relate it to him. Well, the message I have is for the king's ears only. Did you say king's ear alone? Yes. Then you have to wait or you go and come back later. I think I prefer to wait. Okay, then. Wait for it. Wait by that corner. Thank you. Uh -huh. Greetings, Nani. Ah, uh, greetings. <clears throat> How are you? I'm fine, Nani. It seems like you are about leaving. Yes, I'm uh, going out. Then I met you at a very good time. Uh -huh. mm. The way you just sounded, it seems there's something you want to discuss with me. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> there's something very, very important that I have to discuss with you, Nani. Then talk, because I'm already running late. It's about your son, Nabuife. My son, Nabuife. Mm. Is everything all right? Nani, mm. everything is not all right, though. The maiden is about to get married to. <laughs> Nani. I fear that marriage is going to consume your son's life. And eventually, she will jump to another man. 
Why would you say such a thing about an innocent maiden? I don't have anything against her. I'm only very concerned because, Nani, what I'm saying is the truth. Evil and halotry runs in her lineage. If I had known this is what you are coming here to vomit, I wouldn't have listened to you in the first place. Nani, you have to take what I'm telling you very serious. You have to do everything possible to make sure your son does not marry that maiden, Nani. I have not seen you before. Nani, you don't have to have seen me before to believe what I'm telling you. Nani, what I'm saying is the truth. Who is your father? Your Majesty, someone is here to see you. Man or woman? Man, Your Majesty. Bring him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, young man. May I speak with you alone, Your Majesty? Why? That is how the gods want it, Your Majesty. And what's your name? Your Majesty, my name is Okolondo, son of Anomodulo, the great hunter of Umoji. Wow. <laughs> son of a great man indeed. Yes, Your Majesty. Great hunter of our land. His son should be given attention. Thank you, Your Majesty. Leave us. So what is it? If I may, Your Majesty. I found this. I found this on the boundary between our land and no more than you be. But our land precisely. My fellow elders, the great king of the land, this stone is useless to us. We don't have any need for it. Ishii and Noshiri, you are not going to be in a haste to draw that conclusion. Uh, but your majesty, that is exactly what it is. Well, I am not going to accept what uh, Ishii and Noshiri is presenting here until I have listened to Onyendozi say something about the precious stones discovered in our land. Yes, I agree with the king. Let's not be in a haste to throw this stone away. Uh, yes. We will not be in a haste to throw the stone away. But when will Onyendozi come to see the stone in question? Well, Onyendozi is supposed to be part of this meeting. I told him about this meeting and uh, he assured me he will be coming. But then again, he sent words across to me that uh, he's attending to his pregnant wife. That's why he's not here. Does that mean now that there's no need to wait for him any further? Well, uh, to be very sincere, that may be the truth. Because there is no way men in council will sit down here waiting for a man who is attending to a pregnant woman. We all understand what that means. Yeah, right. So I am going to hold a private meeting with him when he comes. And whatsoever we discuss, I will find a way to relate to the men in council. Yeah, so no problem, no problem, no problem, you have said it all. We are with you. <laughs> but again, contrary to what Ishii and Nashiri was saying when we started, Something in me tells me that the stone as discovered in our land here is going to be very important to us as a people. Yes, Your Majesty. I have the same feeling. And that is the more reason why we have to wait for Onyendozi to come and see it. Yeah, Oboda. Yeah. Must you always agree with the king? Oh, oh. No, must you always be at the supporting team? Don't you have a word of your own as as an echi? In Muru Kwakai, in Zen Amaro Kus in a one year Kutogon Yanabo, Manuku Namaro. Shut up! Shut up! That is an insult, and I will not take it from you. Honestly, it is not an insult. I won't insult you. 
But I am only establishing a fact. Well, it's, it's enough. It's enough. You know, this is enough. Please. Your Majesty, tell him to always choose his words anytime he, he wants to speak to me. My name is Rukwaka. It's enough. We are sorry. We are very sorry, Your Majesty. You can, you can already see the man is vibrating and you are still staying tense. Please, stop. It's okay. Hey, 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 it's, it's okay. Okay. We are sorry. We are sorry, Your Majesty. So, what did your king say when you handed over the stone to him? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Yes, he didn't say anything. He just identified the two stones as precious stones. You mean he did not say anything about rewarding you when you handed over the stones to him? No, he collected it from me and asked me to leave. You see? You see why I warned you over giving that stones to your, to, to your king? If it were to be my own king, there's no way he will not reward you handsomely for handing those stones to him. Oh. Okay, Chief, please. Before we go about with all this reward of a thing, do you even think that those precious stones are of any use to him? They are of a great use to him. That is why he collected them from you. Um, where did you say you, you saw the stones? Okay, um, I was doing my normal routine for the day, digging up stones. When I stumbled on that, strange things. So I went to make inquiry from the king and he identified it as precious stones. Where did you see them? Where? At the boundary between our two kingdoms. Your own land or our own land? My own land. Hey. Close to yours. And why did you ask? Oh, nothing. I, I just want to know. That's one thing I just wanted to know. That's, that's just it. So. How are you today? Not fine, Drew. Not fine. That, that your king is not being fair. Why would he, why would he not talk about the reward? The reward, the reward is something is very important. Can you forget about my king now? How can he not reward you? This way. Are you here? I told you I cannot have anything to do with you. I am married. What do you want? I am not here because of what we once shared. I know you are married and I respect that. So why are you here? I have information for you. I'm listening. What do I stand to gain? It depends what information you have. Precious stones have been found. On our land? No. A land close to ours. Where in particular? Not until you tell me what I stand to gain. What's your price? I have given you the opportunity to make me an offer. So don't ask me. That is what I want it to be. So tell me what you want. 
and I will oblige you this time around only if the information you provide is correct. Alright. I want you back in my life. You cannot be serious. That is impossible. That is my demand. That is final. If you are ready to know where the precious stones have been found, you have to do it. Come back to me and I will tell you. It might interest you to know that people of Bezama already know about the precious name. Excuse me. been behaving strange lately. Is there anything you want to share with me? Mother, I remember your warning that I shouldn't scare you with the things I see. Is that a way of saying that you are seeing things? Promise me. Promise me that you will not dismiss it as one of those things. You've not said anything yet. I see war coming. What? And a lot of people would die. May the ghost forbid! I saw it. It was real. Very real. I was crying in my dream until I woke up. And I continued crying. Is your father aware of it? Not yet. Then you have to tell him. Where is he? At the throne room with the elders. That means I have to wait until the elders are gone. Greetings. Greetings, how are you? I'm fine, Ichi. Yeah. I was actually coming to your house. Yes, Ichi. Hope all is well. Yes, Ichi, all is well. Just that um, I wanted to discuss something with you. Okay. If the conversation will not take time, then we can as well have it here because my coming back will be later in the evening. Oh, Ichi, we can actually have it here because it's a matter that needs urgent attention. What could that be? What are the necessary informations I need to have about the maiden I want to marry? <laughs> no, the information is simple. Firstly, you have to know the kind of family you're getting married from. Then, you need to know the kind of woman her mother is. Yes. <laughs> Is there any kind of life lived by the mother of this maiden that is capable of stopping that maiden from getting married? No, be fair. A woman who runs after men from her husband's house is not worthy to be called a wife. It is believed that this same woman will transfer such character to her daughters. No, be fair. I hope you're getting married soon. Uh, yes, Ichi. That's why I was asking you okay. these questions. I will advise you check on these things I told you now before settling down for any medical. I will, Ichi. Yes, Thank you for your time. My regards to your family. Yes, Say hi to your father. Oh. I will. This is precious stone and it's going to be valuable to us. How do you mean? I mean this is precious stone and um, 
if we can get buyers, uh, this is going to fetch us a lot of money. Is that a way of telling me that our kingdom is about to develop? Exactly. Exactly. Because if we sell, we are going to get a lot of money to develop our kingdom. Then the first thing I want to ask is, how are we going to get the buyers? Um, I heard that uh, some white men are going from one community to another, buying precious stones, elephant tusks, palm oil, and some other valuables. Now, our problem is how to get words across to them, to rush down to Iziyama. Once they come, we present the precious stone to them, and then we take it up from there. Oh, you know, see, getting them to rush down to Iziyama may not be the problem. Uh, the problem is, are you sure they are going to like what we have? Uh, sorry, Your Highness. I'm assuring you that they must like it. Because this is precious to them. And I'm very, very sure that it's going to be precious to them. Now, let me tell you one thing. During the short period I was at Oka, learning blacksmith, I learned a lot about precious stone. The white men, they don't joke with it because it is connected to their method of measuring real wealth. You see, this is why I insisted that I must hear from you concerning this precious stone. Yeah, because you are that one man of our kingdom who knows practically everything about everything. <laughs> uh, Onyeze, this is a kind of exaggeration that I know uh, a lot about uh, practically everything. Uh, you know, this smacks of uh, omniscient. I'm not omniscient. Only the gods are omniscient. However, I will agree with you that uh, I know enough of anything I want to know, if I may put it that way. Well, Onyendozi, it is your right to maintain your peaceful nature. You know, that is the reason the gods of Eziama have bestowed on you the wand of peace. You are that one man of this kingdom who is credible and the only resource person we have in Eziama. And that is the reason we have not just made you the peace ambassador of this kingdom. But even the men and women of this kingdom, they do not ever joke with your advice. In fact, your advice is that quality advice that nobody can take for granted. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Convey my gratitude to the rest of the citizenry of the Kingdom of Asiama. And I must advise immediately that we mobilize the youths to that very particular spot of land where we, they got this to get more. Because the more in quantity, the more money we get for our development. I mean, let me just give you this assurance that, motive, you know, moving the young men to do what you just instructed is not going to be a problem. Thank you. Uh, we are going to see to that immediately. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And what did she come to do here? Who? Ugechi. She brought some business. I see. And what kind of business is that? Look, woman, you do not 
expect me to answer that question. When did you start doing businesses with Ogechi? Look, a businessman can start business with whomever and whenever. My business is none of your business. I see. So they have started seeing each other secretly again. Him. What's the problem? You look so worried. What's wrong with you? Please, you can talk to me. What's bothering you? Obio. Yes, my love. You know I love you, right? And you know I love you too. But that's not why you're wearing a long face, is it? Obio, I want to ask you a question. And please. Be honest with me. I promise. Ask me anything. Obin, tell me about your family. Okay. My mother is late, which you already know. My father is very much alive. My father is a palm wine tapper. And he's a very good man. Everyone in Asia Ma Kingdom knows about him. You can go and make your findings. I know about your father. Okay. But I'm not talking about your father over here. Tell me about your mother. I mean, you hardly talk about your mother. I don't want to talk about her. Why? Don't ask me why. I don't want to talk about her. Obimu, we are going to be married. We should know our family history, which emanated from our parents. Who have you been talking to? What do you mean, who have I been talking to? You know what, Nabwife? I don't have time to quarrel with you. Ob Obim, please wait. Okay. There is a simpler way to solve this problem. Let me take you on as my second wife. No. Then why are you being so difficult? What is it? I cannot share you with anyone. See, you can call it whatever you want to call it. But I want my man. Make a decision and then we're good to go. 
What decision do you want me to make? How can I kill my wife? For no reason. It doesn't make sense. But if this is what you plan to say to me, then why do you bring me out here? Why? Listen. Take the offer. I will even give you a huge amount of money once the precious stone business begins. No. I am not interested in your money. I want my man all to myself. That's it. Who's your man? He is the one standing before me. He is the only one hearing me right now. He has been my man. All I want is to have him all to myself. If you want the precious stone, go ahead, kick her out, and we'll go. Okay, I accept. I accept. Show me the land of the precious stones. No. I don't operate that way. If you really want the precious stone, kick her out of the palace and I will show you the land where the precious stones are found. Obim, wait! Obin, did I do wrong by demanding to know the kind of murder you once had? I never said so, because I knew you were making inquiries. Then why are you this angry? Not you. <sighs> that woman lost the title of a mother because of the kind of life she lived. She was... She was into so many things and I'm not proud. We will just slow down, okay? I just want you to break it down for me. I mean, what kind of life did she live? Is this something I should know? It is something personal and should not be brought to public. Now you just sounded as if I'm a stranger to you. Ujunga, we are planning to be married. And we shouldn't be keeping things from one another. Please do not misunderstand me. But that is it. Obi, I love you. Obi, I love you with my life and I will always stand by you no matter what. That woman lived a very bad life. What kind of life did she live? She lived a life not worthy of emulation. She was into so many things. She was into men different kind of men. She went as far as having children for all of them. What? Greetings, Father. In the nice. Excuse us. My jewel of endless value. How are you today? Very well, Father. And you? I'm good. 
You were very busy yesterday. Definitely, I was very busy yesterday. Father, I had a dream I wanted to share with you, but I couldn't meet up with you because of your very busy schedule. Well, as you can see, I am very much free now. I was busy yesterday, like I said, but I can hear your dream now. What, what was it all about? I saw war coming. War? Yes, Father. A lot of lives were lost and a lot of houses in this kingdom were burned. Well, it could just be a dream. Father, this is not just a dream. You know my dreams come true. Please, let's do everything possible to avoid this war. Okay. Who were we fighting against? Initially, it wasn't very clear, but later it was discovered that we were fighting with the people of Umuaganigwe. Oh. Now I confirm it's actually a dream that shouldn't give you any concern. It's something maybe as a result of um, Eba. And I'm going to suggest you meet Ukadike, the herbalist, to give you something very potent that can fight this Eba. Because we cannot be going into war with the people of Omogadikwe. It is not possible. Let me even surprise you. Our New Year Festival that is coming, the king of Omogadikwe himself will be in attendance here in this palace. Um, I don't know how to say this, Father. But please, if it is possible, stop the king from coming. Why? Because this war I talk about may start from there. Can you perish that thought already? Stop thinking towards that direction. I don't know how many people you may have shared this your dream with, but let me be the very last person. Don't discuss this with any other person because it is not possible. The people of Umoganigwe are like our brothers and our sisters. We have been living together for decades. So I wanted to perish that thought. See what you had as a dream and let it remain a dream. So what exactly did he do? He's seen another woman, your majesty. That's not possible. He swore before our gods to love and cherish you all the days of his life. Your majesty, many men do not give this marital odds. He is seen another woman and is really killing me from inside. You sound so sure. Do you know the maiden is going after? Her name is Ogechi. Ogechi. The one I know or is there a different one? The same Ogechi that you know, Your Majesty. They are seeing each other and it's really affecting our relationship. Don't worry about it, I'll talk to my son. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remain calm. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Greetings, Evil Guards. Hold it right there. Why are you here? I am here for the king. Why are you looking for him? Well, I have something personal to discuss with the king. Something personal to discuss with the king? Ask who? I don't understand. The question he asked you is not confusing. Why are you acting as if you are confused? That's because I told you that I have something personal to discuss with the king. I don't know why you two are finding it difficult to understand that. Well, if you must know, the king has instructed that you should not be seen anywhere around this palace. No, that can be true. The king cannot make such others 
That means you are calling us liars. I did not call you liars. I guess you have overstayed your welcome. And I ask that you leave. When did you guards start talking like this? He said you leave. Now. The king will not be happy when he discovers that you treated me like this. Leave. Or do you want us to force you leave? Now leave. Now. Now! You have something personal to discuss with the king. She sounded so sure. I know she must have laid her hands on something to be that convinced. Father, she has laid her hands on nothing. Were you sitting with her? Yes, Father. What's going on between both of you? Well, she told me in confidence that the people of Iziama Kingdom have discovered precious stones. Precious stones? Yes, Father. What kind of precious stones? Well, she didn't tell me exactly what kind of precious stones. But those who are in stones have confirmed, Father, that indeed they are precious. And that the people of Iziama Kingdom will make a lot of money from those stones. In which portion of the land was it discovered? Father, she has not told me. Why did they learn? She's making some demands that I didn't want to give in to, but, but I've accented to it, so everything is under control now. Yeah, what's she asking for? That is a very bad demand. Murder is a very serious offense in Igbo land. Especially when it has to do with that of a helpless woman. Well, Father, that's exactly what I told her. But she insisted. What are you going to do? Marry her. And throw Olaku out. That is never going to happen. Well, Father, I cannot afford not to possess those stones. We must do everything necessary. Father! From what you have said so far, you're not even sure the stones are found in our own land. Well, that is true. But until I find exactly where those stones are, I am not going with that thought. You are beginning to sound unpredictable. Do you have other plans? Yes, Father. Talk to me about it. Oh, Father. I would do anything and everything to ensure I possess those stones. Everything! And that will include invasion of the borders of Aziama people? Yes, Father. That will be an act of war. And I will never support that. Well, Father, I've heard about wealthy kingdoms. You have told me stories. Conquest is part of the strategy. 
if we must go to war to claim their land and have the precious stones, then, Father, so be it. My son, listen. We have enjoyed a peaceful relationship with our neighbors, the Isiyama people. And I'm not about to sacrifice that because of mere precious stones. So you better, better perish that thought. Ogi. Ogi. Ogi, listen to me. What is it? What is going on? What are you talking about? You have been avoiding me lately. What is going on? I have been busy. Busy? And I assume this busy you are talking about is with the prince. What do you mean by that? Come on, okay. I have my eyes on you. And I discover that you've been having secret meetings with the prince. Then again I ask, what is going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you know what I am talking about. And I ask a question which deserves an answer. What is going on? One thing I heard a man is following me around. Now I ask. Don't you have any other thing to do than following me around? Wow. It's obvious that you are practically deviating from the point of discussion. Well, I am not ready for this discussion right now. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Which means the information I have concerning her mother is correct. I'm shocked, Papa. Information is very correct. <laughs> you know what that means. But honestly, Papa, the kind of life that her mother lived will not stop me from marrying her. I'm getting married to her and not to the mother. Which means you don't know the tradition and cultures of this land. And I'll be glad to educate you. Papa, spare me all that. Eh? Ujuma is a nice girl. Well-mannered and cultured. Papa, she can never leave me for any other man. The crime we are dealing with here is the one rooted in blood. No matter how much she tries to hide it, someday in the future, it will certainly come out. Papa, I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. We even have a saying that says, Ofunne namu, manufuchi adieke. That is to say, children of the same woman are of different destinies and chances in life. Mm -hmm. I agree with you completely. But the issue under discussion is different. Papa, it's not different. It's not different. You are just saying things that will make me grow weak towards my woman. And that is not fair. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm... Um... I'm not expecting you to agree with me completely. But the bottom line is, you're not going to marry her. Papa, you didn't just say that. You heard me right. So start looking around for another maiden to get married to. What? Hmm. I didn't just speak as your father. But as Ichi Eloka, the Okwan Asanya of Umu Oganiwe Kingdom, I do not want any objections or arguments. Hey, Nana. I can see the ripple effect of your work. Good job. What do you intend to achieve? Don't bother about that, okay? Do you realize you just destroyed that beautiful relationship? On the contrary, I saved Nabife from distractions. We both know Junwa is a good girl, and she would have made a good wife. Don't be too sure about that. Good wife is beyond physical look. She's only been judged by the actions of the mother. That alone is very wrong. People should be judged by their own actions. You know that. Don't preach to me. All I know is that Nabife will not marry that fool. Yes. Let me even ask you. What has she done to you that is so bad that you hate her this much? 
I never said I hated her. That question is unfounded. Yeah. Listen, my daughter, crying will not solve the problem. <laughs> crying doesn't solve any problem. Stop crying, please. <laughs> Papa, why me? Why me? <laughs> It's okay, eh? It's okay, eh? I will see Nabife and I will talk with him. Eh? I'm sure this matter will be resolved. Okay? Papa, I will kill myself. I will kill myself if Nabife does not marry me. I will kill myself. Why would you even think of that? Killing yourself for what? For who? Please don't go there. Don't even think of it. Eh? Life is too precious for you to... Uh, you, just kill yourself for anything. No, please don't do that. Papa, eh? I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> If he insists on not marrying me, I will kill myself. If he insists on not marrying you, that means the gods do not support your marriage to him. Yeah? Papa, I've, I've invested so much energy and time in this relationship. He must marry me, oh. Nabife must marry me. Uh -uh. <laughs> Nabife marrying you is not a force. Eh? It's not by force. He, he, listen, you are not going to kill yourself. Eh? Life is too precious. To be tied to any man. How can you tie your life to Nabife? <laughs> Who is in Nabife? Papa, he's everything to me. He's not just any man. Nabife is not just any man. He's my world. <laughs> but you are not going to kill yourself for anything. Your life is much more precious, eh? Stop crying. And you will not kill yourself. Stop this. Eh? You know what? Whatever you think you're doing will not work. You know why? Because by creation, the gods have already destined Ujumwa <laughs> to be my wife. <laughs> I don't expect you to say otherwise. Is it not you? Or soon you wake up to reality and come begging for my love. <laughs> now I see that you are a dreamer. And the earlier you wake up from this wild dream of yours, the better for you. There is something you seem to be forgetting. I belong to the class of women that get whatever they want, no matter how difficult it is. <laughs> Well, you will not get this one. You will not. Even if you like, use all the charms in this world. You will not get this one. Far from it. I mean, the last thing I will do is to use charm on you. Our love is born out of natural feelings. And that it will remain. Well, we both will be alive to see how that played out. Now that you have chance, come and marry me. To fear! Pa! Me. Marry you. Even if that happens in my dream, I will wake up and I will reject it. What has Ujumwa given to you? You want to know? Yes. Well, let me tell you, Neka. She gave me respect, care, attention, which you could not give to me. Mm -hmm. Even as we speak right now, that inborn disrespect is still coming out from you. Why are you demanding so much from me when you have not given me a chance in your life? I have given you all the chances in the world, Neka. I have. But you already showed me that you are this woman that only dreadful men can manage. And I am not one of those men. And I will have nothing to do with you. Not in this life, not in the next time to come. With time, you'll Rubbish. come back begging for my love. Greetings. You don't look happy. What is the problem? You're part of my problem. You are my problem. How? What you're asking me to do is too much. You don't expect me to get rid of my wife because of you. That means you are not ready to know where the precious stones are found. Ask for something else. Ask me something else. Give me another demand. No. Okay, fine. I accept. Where can the stones be found? Slow down. Slow down, my friends. First, take her out of the way. 
then I will know how serious you are. What do you mean, take her out of the way? What, what does that mean? Kill her. Kill your wife. Kill my wife. That's too much to do. Too much for you to do? Come on, my friends. Olaku should be turned off if you want me to give you the information you see. Why are you still here? I am done with you, woman. How else can I say it? Pack your things and leave. <laughs> I knew it to come to this. I knew it. But before I go, can I, can I ask you a question? Don't have time for your questions. That's fine. I just want you to tell me what I have done wrong before I leave. I need you to tell me what did I do wrong. You have not given me a child. That is what you have been doing wrong. Did you get me pregnant and I refused to give you a child? I refused to carry your child? This is why I hate you. Full of excuses. You must find excuse in everything. Pack and get out. Listen, my love, listen, I am not making excuses. I just told you my truth. That's it. I don't have time for this argument, okay? Leave. You know, I... I never wanted you to regret anything. You see this? You will regret it. It's my regret to live with. May the gods judge you. I am prepared. You are happy now, right? Very happy. Then I have bad news for you. If I, Ujuma, cannot have Nabufe, no one else will. Uzuma, this sounds like a challenge to me. Call it whatever you want. I do not care. Uzuma, you just challenged me. I swear on the gods, I will crush you. You won't dare. All right, so we shall see. I will be waiting. And this time, you need to know that this maiden is ready for you. I will match you one move for one move. One slap for one slap. And one deep cut for one deeper cut. Ujum, I promise you, we shall see. Bring it! Greetings, Father. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Father. This is Ogechi, the maiden I wish to marry. You have decided to take a second wife? No, father. I don't understand you. I know you already have a wife. A wife who lives with you in this palace. A wife who has cooked for me as a king and I've eaten her meal. And I have proudly said, wife of my son. Well, father, I understand all of that. But I sent her away earlier today. And I'm just hearing of it? My apologies, father. It's just that I cannot continue to tolerate her excesses. So, can you tolerate this one? Yes, Father, I can. I cannot deny you of anything as my beloved son. As long as she will make you happy 
and prosperous and give you my blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I am grateful. Thank you, Your Majesty. You are the man of the gods. Thank you, Father. Are you okay, my princess? Do you need anything, my princess? My princess, why the sudden change of mood? This will be the very first time you will be blocking me. You did this because you feel you are the head of the maid, Sifenkeli. Let this be the very last time. If this happens again, you won't like my reaction. our boundaries between home organism and our people. My father told me that once you descend that hill that you will get to Umoganigwe. Does it mean you have not seen them? Say what, my princess? We should please not interrupt the princess. She is gifted and it's possible she is seeing things. I see them filtering into our land. So many of them. They're coming. Men determined to harvest what they did not cultivate. If that is the case, we should not be here, my princess. And that is the truth. This land already confirmed to be rich in precious stones. It's our land. And it shouldn't be here. I am the princess of Eziyama kingdom. Forget the fact that I am not here with Eziyama warriors. It is suicidal for you to stay on this land and lay claim to it. What have you just done? Showing you that we are not joking. You just killed the maiden of Eziyama kingdom. You are not. This is just the warning. We are coming. We will sack you from Izama and take what we want. So, my daughter, mm -hmm. can you tell us exactly where the land is located? Yes, Your Highness. The land at the boundary between Izama and our kingdom, Your Highness. I know the place. That is where the precious stones are located. You have done well, my daughter and you'll be adequately rewarded at the end. Thank you, Your Highness. But there is no reward bigger than getting married to the Prince of Omoganigwe Kingdom. Consider yourself my son's wife. I've already given my blessing. Thank you, Your Highness. You are one of a kind. You're the one with the precious information. And I consider you an asset to reality. My love, let's go to my chamber. I have something important to discuss with you. Father, please permit us. Permission granted. Thank you, Father. It is now obvious that your marriage with Ujuma will never work. Papa, I am not ruling marrying Ujuma out, Papa. I'm not. This is a, a reality you must face, son. The earlier you start looking for another maiden to get married to, the better. Papa, it is either Ujungwa or nobody else. <sighs> you are beginning to sound like someone on the spell, son. And I can never take it. <laughs> Far from that, Papa. I'm not under any spell. 
you have lost your sense of good reasoning and someone has to call you back to order. Papa, nothing is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with me, Papa. Papa, you are condemning a girl that has done nothing to you just because of the kind of life her mother lived. We have had this discussion before and I don't want to revisit it. On the contrary, Papa. We have to revisit it. We have to because you're taking a stand that is not favorable to me. Then make that stand favorable to you. Start making up your mind to either go back to Neka or get another maiden to get married to. Papa, if this is about Neka, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, Papa. It will never, ever work. Then get another maiden. Find another maiden. There are maidens everywhere. Get one and get married to her. Papa, I don't need any other maiden. It is Ujunwa that I want. And Ujunwa I must get. It is either I marry Ujunwa or I remain single for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, Papa. I have something to do inside. If you may excuse me. Hmm. She just became a different person so suddenly. Can anyone tell why the sudden change in mood? I don't know. Should we not go to her and find out? But why should we? You just heard the instructions she gave. Something is wrong with her. Exactly what I am thinking. Something is definitely wrong with her. As you've confirmed that something is wrong with her, should we not be with her? I was observing her. She got transported into another room while she was standing with us. Are you sure the princess has not become an easy one? And we don't even know. I don't believe so. She is troubled. That is why she has been feeling very disturbed. That is one fault I find with her. She should tell people around her what troubles her. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good. So good to see you. Good to see you too, my love. Uh, you know what? I've been thinking. Thinking? Yes. About what? About our love and our best to achieve our dreams of living our lives together as lovers, you know? <laughs> Great. So, talk to me about it. Okay. I think we should elope. Oh. Yes, let's, let's go to a faraway kingdom. A place where you and I can live our dream together. Being husband and wife without any disruption, without anybody interfering in our lives. I think that is great. I never thought about it like that. Okay, does that mean you like the idea? Of course I love the idea. <laughs> Look. That is exactly what we are going to do. Okay. Alright, so when do we move? Um. Okay, two days from today will be perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, so, um, that will give us enough time to prepare before leaving. Okay, I think I should over here and go stop back on the radio, okay, right? right? See, come here. <laughs> it is real. Very real. And what is it? 
The war I see in my dreams, it is real. As a matter of fact, it is in our boundary. You are confusing me. What exactly are you talking about? I am talking about the war that I see in my dreams. We have to rise as those in positions of authority and stop this war. If we do not stop it, it will destroy this land. When you told your father about your dream, what did he say? As usual, he treated it with levity. Mother, I know what I have seen in my dreams. It was brutal. Men and women of this kingdom will lose their lives. My daughter, I will talk to your father. It is necessary that you talk to father. If we do not do anything about this, we will not be able to stand what is to come. It's okay. I will talk to him. On a second thought, I know whom I will talk to. Who? You know him. I will talk to him. He is the only one who can solve this problem. Princess! Adeze! Now we know the exact land where the precious stones are located. Next step, father, would be to take out Obichi. Take out, you mean, terminate her life? Yes, Father. Are you ready for it? Father, a man targeting a bright future must be prepared for anything. I am prepared. <laughs> My son has become a man. But before we take her out, we must confirm the existence of the precious stones on the land. If Anada must be killed, she must not be killed for nothing. Yes, Father. What would you suggest? You take our youths to that land and they'll all be under your supervision. Then we confirm the existence of the precious stones. If they really exist, then you take our men of war to safeguard that land and deprive the people of Asia from having access. Then we can silence Ogechi forever. Father, permission to proceed immediately. No. The sun has gone down. We do that first and tomorrow morning. Yes, Father. Oyendozi. My princess. I came to you because you remain the only one who will understand this and act accordingly. What I saw was real. Bloodshed is coming. We need to do everything possible to avoid it. First of all, I must acknowledge that my princess is blessed with the gift of seeing beyond ordinary eyes. I remember when I was at Oka to learn blacksmith, people like you were referred to as Ndina Fuzo, people who see far. You see, and they were respected by everyone. So, I thank you very much for coming to me with this. Uh, I promise you we are going to do something about it. I know I can trust you with this. Yes, but we need to wait for direction. How do you mean? Uh, you know, matter of this nature do not need consulting the gods. I don't know what that means. Is it like consulting the gods? Go ahead and do so. I am sure they will reveal the way forward. My princess, matters of this nature do not need consulting the gods. How do you mean? All right. 
Did you consult the gods before you saw what you have seen? No. In the same vein, I am not going to consult them until they reveal it to me. That's like folding our arms and waiting for war to fall on us. Oyendozi, I know what I saw. It was very disastrous. Lives will be lost. Houses will be brought down. The gods will not allow that to happen to us. Um, how do you say my thank you very much for bringing it to my notice? Thank you very much. I have to take it up from here. Why are you making something out of nothing? Why? Onyese, what the princess saw is real. You have to follow it up to avoid being at the receiving end. Should war break out tomorrow? Listen, I am the king. And I am telling you here and now that no war is going to break out. She saw your mother's death and told you about it. Oh, yes, what did you do? Listen, what are you driving at? Could it be you have been the one who is engineering my daughter with unguided tales? Prompting her now to start thinking of doing unimaginable things? There are no tales, Onyeze. She saw the death of your mother. Told you about it. You said nothing. At the end, what happened? Your mother died exactly the way and the time she predicted it. She also told you about the elders. We were working hard to dethrone you. And you said a thing like that will never happen. What happened at the end? You almost lost your life. If not because of the gods, who we were so merciful to you. You would have been dead by now. How else do you want her to present it to you? Well, let me just tell you something. I don't know, I don't know where you're coming from. But are you possibly asking me to go to war with the people of Homo I never said so. All I ask of you is to take precautionary measures to defend our land should war break us tomorrow. Well, I want you to understand that war is not going to break out. You see, the people of Homo Ganiwe, they are like our brothers and our sisters. And the last thing on their minds will be to go to war with us. How else am I going to explain this for you to understand it? Onyeze, it baffles me when you rule at war against the people of Homo Ganiwe. It baffles me! Well, I need you to understand something. You see, the king of Homo Ganiwe, he is my very good friend. And we have a high level of understanding. So there is no way that man will move his people to go to war with us. Why can't you understand this? Onyeze, let it not be that you are succumbing to defeat, thereby digging the grave of our people indirectly. Listen, I am not succumbing to any defeat. And I am not digging any grave for our people. I need you to understand where I am coming from. You will see eh? The king of Homo Ganiwe is my very good friend. Yes, my very good friend. And I hold him in a very high standard. And we have a very high level of understanding. There is no way that man will go to war with us. We may not be sure, as we do not know much about precious stones. But I feel those stones are not ordinary. Yes, we can get the stones and take them to an HR and confirm if they're exactly what they call them. That won't be necessary. We can be exposed to harm. I mean, we can be killed right here. Look at our kingdom. And look at the kingdom we are now. Exactly my point. I see no reason we should be here. It is not safe here. We may get into trouble. Have I not been vindicated? I told you this boy who claims to know too much should not be part of this mission. Did you think I crossed this hill just to come here and listen to this rubbish? This is not our kingdom. Jealousy has always been your problem. And it is still your problem. You know what? All I have achieved in this life, you will never achieve all your miserable life. There is nothing that you have achieved. Precious stones have been found in this land. And our prince have sent us to get it. This is now our land. And so, what? By the time we have mined these precious stones, what are we going to do with them? We do not have the knowledge to turn them into anything else. We don't also have the market to sell these precious stones. We'll find the market. And stop saying things that will force me to slap you. What? 
you slap me for telling you the truth? We are beginning the process that will consume us and we need to be very, very careful. I said enough! I need all of you to understand that something big is coming. All these fears you're entertaining has been taken care of. The gods has given us this land for our prosperity and we must protect it at all costs. I am not part of them. If I must die, I will lay down my life for this. And I will not die for nothing. Shouldn't we be telling ourselves the truth? This land in question belongs to Ezema people and not to us. Why are we seeing our prosperity tied to another man's land? It's not our land. Let us leave this place. I don't like troubles. If we must succeed, this fool must not come with us. Can't see people listening to the rubbish he's saying with his mouth. Adeze. Adeze. Mother, what is it? The people of Umoaganigwe are already positioning for war. And we are doing nothing. You saw it again? They are so determined, Mother. They are seeing what we are not seeing. And they will stop at nothing until they succeed. But is it realistic that the people of Omoaganigwe will wipe us out like that? I do not know, Mother. But we have to do something to avert this. Else, is the Ama kingdom may cease to exist as a kingdom. And the people of Omoaganigwe, are they ones to see to that? I may not know, Mother. But what I know is that war is already coming and the people of Umo Ganigwe are ahead of us. Hey! My daughter, I will talk to your father. Okay. Father does not understand what I say. He sees it as one of my dreams. It's okay. I will talk to him. Mother, it is not just talking to him. Action has to be taken. I will compel him to do something. Please. This is a confirmation. This is a confirmation that a parasol stands on that land. Yes, Father. So what next? We get Ogechi out of the way. And then we move and get the rest of the stones. Good idea. But I want you to know, there's every tendency that war may break out in our efforts to secure precious stones. Father, I am aware. I am prepared. Good. I want you to put our soldiers on an art. Should we have any resistance from the Ajama troops? Yes, Father. So when exactly do we move in to recover the rest of the stones? Once you get to get you out of the way, let me know. Yes, Father. <laughs> My predecessors went to war over women. Women that don't bring in wealth. If I go to war for precious stones, I will bring wealth to this kingdom. Then it's a just war. <laughs> oh. 
Ugochi, of all you are thinking, don't you ever think that you won the battle. I am already a winner, Olak. So go home and lick your wound. Really? He is my husband. <laughs> and there's no way that I will allow you to succeed with him. I would never. <laughs> he was. Was your husband. And that is how it's going to remain. <laughs> my dear. You just said it. Husband. And you do not know how far that I'm willing to go mm. to get all that belongs to me. And who cares? Who cares how far you are willing to go? Olak, he was my man. <laughs> you took him from me. All I did is take back that which belongs to you. Your me. irresponsible way of life made him leave you. What I just me? told you my truth. Because everybody in this community knows how irresponsible you are. What you represent, we all know that. Fine. I'm happy. I'm very happy you already know what I represent. So, do not stand my way. Because if you do, I will so crush you and move on. <laughs> She's actually forgetting something here. You think I am still that little and naive Olako that what? you usually intimidate? The answer is no. What? She's not. You see? Hmm. <laughs> but that means um, you are confidently drawing the battle line because you think you have arrived? I am not afraid of you. I will comfortably go to war with you, knowing full well that I will come out victorious. You sure about that? Very sure. Fine. We shall see who wins. And I'll be here waiting for you. No problem. My princess, I am not dismissing your revelation. But the gods of Aziyama have not revealed anything to me. I don't know why that is. But I am very sure of what I have been seeing. I believe in vision. I believe in dreams. What I'm saying is that the gods of Aziyama have not revealed to me what you have seen. Until they reveal it to me, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. There is a lot you can do about it. Act based on the information I have revealed to you. We may be able to prevent what is to come. There's no need acting based on information you have given to me. I am a man of the gods. They need to reveal this thing to me so that whenever I'm talking about it, I talk about it authoritatively, my princess. We may just wake up one day and realize that the people of Umuaganigwe have sacked us from Eziyama. Well, if the gods of Eziyama have not approved of it, it will never happen. So the best thing to do is for us to wait for them. Oyendozi, I am disappointed at your delay approach. I was thinking you will rise immediately and do something about this. My princess, there's no need being disappointed. You see, when men move ahead of the gods, they move straight into troubled waters. We got a message and we decided to come as quickly as possible, my friends. That's good. I have a task for both of you. We have done jobs for you, my friends. This wouldn't be an exception. I'm pleased. So, my friends, what is the tax all about? I need you to kill Ogechi. You mean Ogechi, your wife to be? Yes. How soon can you get it done? It depends on how soon you need it, my prince. If you can get it done today, I will be most pleased. 
In that case, consider it done today. I shall reward both of you heavily. Keep that in mind. You have nothing to worry about. One more thing. Do not allow anyone to see you as you carry out your task. Am I clear? Yes, my friend. We don't have to worry about that, my friends. We know how to go about it. Okay, why would you do something like that? Your king was very greedy. <laughs> I only opened a new channel. <laughs> Did you say channel? Listen, Ogi, the precious stone we are talking about was found in Iziama Kingdom, not Umuoganigui. Yes, I know. If you know that, then why did you tell your king? The question should be, what do I stand to gain? You stand to gain absolutely nothing! No. No, my dear. <laughs> I stand to gain a lot. Come on, Uge. Listen, they may have made a lot of promises to you, but I will categorically tell you that they are deceiving you. Nobody's deceiving me. <laughs> the prince has promised to marry me and throw me into everlasting wealth. Wait, please, wait. It's, I, I, it's like I, 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 I didn't hear you well. You mean the prince promised to marry you? How? Yes. <laughs> he promised to marry me. What happened to our love? I, 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 are you, you going to throw what we share together away like that? Okolondo, my friend. <laughs> the truth is that I have moved on. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to believe that this is what you would do to me after everything I've done for you. Now you have known the truth. I will advise you to move on. Okay? Excuse me. Okay, okay. Okay, we can talk about this. Okay, please! You don't look happy. What is the problem? Can I confide in you? Sure. We have always confided in each other. Look, you are the first and only person I'm going to be telling this. So please. You are beginning to scare me. Would you know why? I hope there is no problem. I want to elope with him now with him. Why? I mean, he will soon get married to him, so why can't get off and loping with him? His father has said he won't marry me. Why? I don't know. It's a long story. Look, you've known me. You can confide in me. So that we'll, together we'll find a lasting solution to the problem. Ijama, it's not a story I'm ready to tell today. You've known me. You can confide in me. Together we'll find a lasting solution to the problem. Oh. How will I start telling the story? Don't worry, my daughter. He is going to marry you. If you do this for me, Papa, I swear by the gods to remain a humble wife to your son forever. I know you will, my daughter. Yes, Papa. 
That is why I will do everything within my power to make sure he marries you. Thank you, Papa. So, Papa, have you eaten? No, my daughter. Why, Papa? Uh, don't worry yourself. Uh, don't worry yourself. I will be fine. So, Papa, what do you want to eat? Let me quickly go and prepare it before leaving. Don't bother yourself, my daughter. I will be fine. Papa insists. Mm. Okay, um, porridge yam with scent leaf will be good for me. Okay, Papa. Let me quickly go and prepare it. Okay, my daughter. Uh, if you check at the back of the odo, you'll find the yam. Uh, okay, okay, my daughter. <laughs> uh -huh. When you see a woman that will make your son a good wife, you will know them. But that's not enough reason the man should say his son will not marry you. John, I don't know. I've tried to make this man understand that I'm different from my mother. But he doesn't want me to marry his son. Before now, have you been having issues with this man? This man used to really like me. I don't know why he just changed. So, why the sudden hatred? I don't know. I don't know. This is where your father comes in. You think my father has not spoken to him? My father has gone to speak with him. But he still insists that his son is not going to marry me. Which is why I'm considering eloping with Nabufe. Eloping with him is not the best option. <sighs> My dear, that's the only option for me because I've invested so much into this relationship and I'm not ready to lose out. What about Nabufe? I mean, what was he saying in all this? Thank the gods. Nabufe is with me. In fact, he has been my source of strength. You know, Ijoma, it's in this kind of situation that you know if a man marrying you truly loves you or not. Nabufe has shown to me that he's, he's the right man for me. You're right. But for now, I want you to cancel the idea of eloping with him. Why you wait and watch and see if the man will change his mind. Ijoma, you don't know this man. He doesn't look like who is ready to change his mind on this. Trust me. He is human. You cannot say for sure what he will do next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to present this. War is already with us. Do you mean that that Omogani will really go into war with us? It is already planned out, so we must prepare for it. Failure to do that, they will come upon us like travail of a pregnant woman, and they may not be any way of escape. It will mean submitting to death. Then on your own part, is there anything you can do to avert this war that is about to come? Oh. It is already late. The war is already here. How do you mean? They have raised warriors. And the warriors are determined to come on us with the kind of travail we've never seen before. But you have not confirmed to us the people with whom we are going to war. It can never be the people of Umo Ganiwe. Because I know they will never go into war with us. Oh, Onyandozi. War. Is coming and we must prepare for it we may not know who we are fighting against because they are yet to attack us but war is coming greetings your majesty. majesty greetings great noble gallant youth of our land i have a very simple task for all of you <laughs> we have an idea already but to be an honor to be briefed by the king. My son, I well, have shown you that land. From today onwards, you must protect that land with all your lives and prevent anybody from Asia, my kingdom, 
from having access to the land? That is a simple task to undertake, Your Majesty. From what I know, Onyezi, do not say anything, for you are not a man of war. You're not going to prevent me from speaking my mind. You have nothing to say rather than to discourage us. You're a man of negative thoughts, and we don't need you in this mission. Oh, youths. Please, let him speak. All I'm saying is that the land in question belongs to the people of Eziama. Why do you want to take it from them? <laughs> I have been vindicated, Onyezi. I told you this man is a coward. That is why I never wanted him to speak. I am the king of Omoganigwe. And all lands belong to me. Including that which I seek. So that is our land. And that is it. I'm sending all of you out to go and safeguard that land. What happens if we get there and there are other people interested in the land? You have my express order to kill, maim, and destroy anyone or group of persons from having access to that land. That settles it, Your Majesty. We need weapons. My son, the prince, would provide all the weapons needed. Ebu Yusuf Eziama. This land we are talking about is our land. Bam. Yes. And that is why I am sending you out to go and defend it. On no account must you allow anybody who is not from Eziama to gain access into that land. What should we do if they come to us violently? If they come violently, then you have the permission of the king to ward them off violently. That means we need some level of fortification. Yes. Mm. Yes. As men who are already initiated into the masquerade court of Eziama, you are fortified already. You don't need any other fortification. I want you to go out there and defend that land. Our forefathers did not lose that land. And there is no way it is going to happen under our wash. Are we going to lose that land? No! no! Not at all! Finally, in any situation whatsoever, you discover that you cannot fight. Send word to me directly or to the palace, depending on the one which is quicker. Did I make myself clear? We are ready to defend our land. And if anybody tries to stop us, they will be crushed. Yes. They will be crushed! Sure! You may leave now. Their morale is high. And I love the zeal. I love the zeal that I'm seeing. Exactly. Exactly. So how exactly do you want it? Once I am done discussing with her, I want you to kill her. But that would be a wrong idea. To you, it's a wrong idea. But to me, that is exactly what I want. Is there no other way? There is no other way. Okolondum. I want you to think twice before taking any action. Remember you told me how much you love this girl. How you can go to any length to marry her. Is that really my point? Or do you want to lose everything you have shared with her overnight? She did that. And that was exactly what prompted my decision. How do you mean? She told me that it's over between us. Why would she make sure? Because she wants to marry the prince. Then your anger should be on the prince, not the girl. Kill the prince and the girl will be yours. <laughs> I am not even interested in her anymore. So you want us to kill her? My point exactly. Then let's kill her. No problem, we'll kill her.
What are you doing in our land? We should be asking you that question. What are you doing here? This land is our land. Your ancestors, including your king, knows that. So I ask again, what are you doing here? You are making a big mistake. And I will ask you live here now in peace. Or I will ensure you live here in pieces. You can do nothing. This land is ours. Yes! No doubt that you want war. And war you shall get. Hey! <laughs> 
What is keeping her? We should be asking you that question. Are you sure she's aware that this is the place both of you are supposed to meet? Yes, this is our meeting point, and I made it categorically clear that I'll be waiting for her here. Then we should wait a little more. No, I am tired of waiting. Is that a way of pulling out of the plan? No. Then no. what do you intend to do? I'm going to their hut. To do what? To drag her to this place. If you do that, you not only put yourself into trouble, but all of us. When you look at me, you would see a desperate man. And at this point, I don't care. That girl must die. Oyendozi. When do we start gathering the precious stones? And how are we going to get by us? One thing is that precious stones do not have special seasons at which they are gathered. Okay, so I have to understand that to mean that we can start gathering the precious stones at any time? Yes, Your Highness. You're right. Then in that, in that case, I have to brief the youths of our kingdom on, on that purpose. And that's exactly what is on my mind. Uh, with regard to getting buyers, remember I told you that those white men visiting communities, that uh, they are highly interested in precious stones. Yeah. So we have to mobilize the youth to gather the precious stones in large quantity. When they come, we sell to them. That's interesting. Hmm. What happened? We, yes. we met the youths of Morgan Igwe Kingdom already in the land. What? How? What were they doing there? From what I understand from the leader, they came to protect the land. He openly told me the land belongs to them. That's nonsense. How can anybody be saying that? The land belongs to us, and they know it. Exactly. Uh, okay, then what happened next? They attacked us, and we resisted them in a fierce battle. Good. That is the kind of thing I want to be hearing. But we lost some men, and they did too. All right. You have done noble. Uh, I want all of you to follow me to the house of uh, Okadike, the healer for treatment immediately. Your Highness, 
Dare you two keep me waiting? Apologies, my friends. Apologies. How did it go? She's dead, my prince. <laughs> you, you have no idea how you made my day such a perfect one. Hey, I hope no one followed you or saw you when you carried out your duty? No one. No one at all. Good. Good. But my prince, we did not kill her. What do you mean you did not kill her? You just said mission accomplished. My prince, we followed her carefully to where she was going. But by the time we arrived, we realized that she was already dead. What? So who killed her? Oh, no idea, my prince. And you? No idea, my prince. No idea. But you are certain she's dead? Dead. Certain? Real. She's dead. dead. Oh, that's fine. Once she's dead, she's dead. It doesn't matter who killed her. Leave and meet me at the palace later. Just leave. Thanks. Leave! What I have just explained now is the situation that is staring us in the face right now. Hmm. Your Majesty, are you sure that piece of land belongs to us? You see that portion of land, as soon as you descend the hill into our kingdom, that land is our land. I know it as the back of my palm. Your Majesty, the reason I ask this question is to make sure that we know what we are doing. Well... I am going to confirm to you as king now, sitting on the throne, that land is our land. Uh, uh, but your majesty, 
if the said land in contention is ours, why are they laying claims over it? They are laying claims over it because precious stones have been found on the land. In line with what I discussed with uh, Onyendozi, we are talking about very expensive precious stones. Something that is going to facilitate the development of our kingdom. That is the reason the king of Ubo Ganigwe has suddenly become interested in annexing that person of land to become a part of Ubo Ganigwe. Manoamame, your majesty. He should not want the land for any reason at all. The land is ours and we are not going to relinquish it to them. Never. Exactly. For the people of Umu Ganigwe to suddenly desire that land, our ancestral land that belongs to us, simply means that they are calling for war. Yes. I know. Yes, I know. That is exactly where we are heading. Aga! I know. Your Majesty. We are not cowards. Onye! I went to no bin na yoti yome. Oko to no bi onye. We are not cowards. We cannot sit and watch our enemies snatch our ancestral land. No, it is not possible. No, the people of Umu Ganigwe by this singular move are calling for war. Yes. And they, we are going to give them war. war. You killed her and you must admit. Watch your words. Watch your tongue, young man because you are overstepping your bounds. And I want you to reverse your steps. I am not overstepping my boundaries. You are! And I want you to stop it. Otherwise, I will throw you into the barn of bees and you will be stung to death. <laughs> Those who fight evil, they parade with the blood edge of supernatural powers. Does it look like I'm afraid of bees? If you have bees that you've kept to kill people, why didn't you throw her into the ban of bees? Instead of allowing the blood of daughter of Umo Ganigwe to be spilled on the land, you have murdered peace. And I will let you know that I am that Okorondu, that one man that no masquerade has ever humbled. And where are you going? I have delivered my message. There is no need for me being here. You have some guts. You have some guts, I must say. And that is because you are not from this kingdom. Because if you were, your entire family would be wiped out because of your action. <laughs> Watch yourself. My prince, if I may call you, I am glad you know that I am not from this kingdom. So I would make you pay for killing the only woman that gladdens my heart. I did not kill her. You did! I did not kill her! My prince, there is no need for argument. When the time comes, you would answer for your evil deed. Thinks I killed her. He's going to tell people that I killed her and I did not. What do I do? What am I going to do? On a second thought, war shouldn't be our only option. I am thinking we should seek other peaceful means of settlement. If it doesn't work, we can now resort to war. Finally. Oh, my humble suggestion. I don't understand where you're coming from, you of It was right here, right now, that we all of us agreed for war. What you are saying now is after thought, and I'm not going to deal with that. There is no way I will sit as king of Asiama presently and allow the people of Omo Ganigo to take what rightfully belongs to us. You are very right, Your Majesty. Each of why are you avoiding war? Why I am avoiding war is 
Whatever that has fallen into the stream should be traced with feet, not hands. We don't have enough manpower, to be precise, to face war this moment. It's your fault. Same goes with the people of Umaganiwe. Uh, but they have able bodied youths. The same thing with us. We want to have able bodied young men who can lay down their lives for their kingdom. And I'm, I am very, very proud of them. Your Majesty, on the second thought, I see great sense in each year for submission. Why don't we send peace ambassadors from here to the king of Umaganiwe kingdom and find out his reason for positioning men on our land? Yes, exactly what you'll be discussing here. You see, war, at all times, war must come last, must always be the last option for any right-thinking person or people. We are right-thinking people in this community, and we are privileged to also have a right-thinking king who listens. So I am suggesting, humbly suggesting, that we should send a peace ambassador to Umu Ganiwe Kingdom so we can avoid this war. Okay. What happens in a situation where we send the so-called peace ambassador and they will refuse to listen to him? And then it will be on record that he has already declared war on yes. us. And, and we will all come out in battle against him. Yes. Okay. Well, I am not one of those kings who will always overrule his elders and council. Majority here are saying that we should send a peace ambassador. Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. We are going to send the peace ambassador to Mogadibwe. <laughs> Your Majesty, the piece of land under dispute, who does it rightfully belong to? It's your neck. Get wisdom. Don't stop speaking unintelligently. The rightful owner of the land is not the issue here. Um, what is the issue? The issue is that they killed our people and they must pay for it. Your Majesty, from what we have gathered so far, our men killed them as well. Ichionyaka, you must mind the utterances you make before an angry king. I sit on this throne to protect the inhabitants of our land. You must not be seen to be challenging me. Oh, you are the king. I, I am not challenging you. Ichi Onyeka, leave my presence. Your Majesty is not... If I repeat myself, you become food for the dogs. Uh, Your Majesty, it has not gotten to that. Leave my presence. Indeed, Chair. We must all have the mindset that we are at war. Your Majesty. Do we have capable men to execute this battle? The youths have assured me they can do it. We have not lost any battle as a kingdom. And I believe we will not lose now. Never. We will subdue Eziyama. We will sack their king. And Eziyama shall become part of Umoganigwe kingdom. Messenger of peace is here, with the one of peace. May the peace of the gods be upon this house. Greetings, Your Majesty. And who is the one standing before me with Ogisi leaves? I am a messenger from Eziyama kingdom, and I was sent by His Majesty Ezema of Eziyama. To spy on us? I have not come to spy. No man from the land of the rising sun with evil intention who will touch the sacred Ogurishi leaf. Who are you? And why are you here? His Royal Majesty, Ezema of Ezema, demands to know why your men have encroached into our land. Guards! Take hold of this man and deal with him. Who is your king? To question why I did what I did. Take him. Who is he? I am Ezen Nakenyi, Ezen Aganigwe of Umagarigwe. My word is law. 
Igwe. Hmm. I said it. I said it, but no one listened to me. I said it. Keep quiet. Allow us to think. There is nothing to think about, mother. This is above thinking. The war is right here with us. We have to face it squarely. Your Majesty, do we have capable hands that would defend us in battle? Unfortunately, we don't. Ha! Huh. Then my vision will come exactly as I saw it. Every living thing in Eziama was killed and our land was taken from us. They will sack us from this palace, grab the offer, and make us a part of their kingdom. <sighs> Adeze, can you throw more light on this revelation that you said you had? Because this dimension you are bringing into this now was never mentioned to me. The kingdom will be in disarray. Both old and young were slaughtered like fowls. Stop this, my princess, for it is scary. May the gods forbid. The gods cannot forbid it, mother. Because when I revealed it, no one wanted to do anything about it. Adesa, can you trust me? Can you trust me when I told you I am on top of this? I am telling you again, I am on top of this and I am going to solve this problem. My husband, based on what happened already, I'm interested to know what you are planning right now. Even what can you made the no be? That which a man is going to do is very deep down in his heart. But I need you to know something. That men who are men will always rise in defense of their kingdom. We are going to defend this kingdom. We are already setting in motion the plan for peace. In a situation where this plan for peace is not seeing the light of day, we will have no other option than take the war to them. But you just said we do not have able-bodied men who can go to war. Why then are you talking about war? We are the people of Eziama. We have never failed in war before. Ah. And there is no way the failure is going to start under my wash. I am not a slave. I am not a slave. I am not a spy. I am not a spy. Even the cause of the rain will bear me witness. I am not a spy. Hold it. Wake up! Wake up! Come on, wake up! He's dead. What? It serves a right. You just killed a man of the gods who bears the sacred Ogili sleeve and you are saying it serves him right? I said it serves him right. So that in his next life, he will never attempt such a message. What do we do now? We'll tell the king he's dead. The king will be angry with us. No, he won't. Because he asked us to beat him up. Did you hear the king? Give such instruction.
What are you saying? Your Majesty, the messenger is dead. Serves him right. Your Majesty, he was holding onto the sacred leave even unto death. That is not on my business. Dump his body into the Zema River. Consider it done, Oyezi. Now that we know, I'm in business. from the messenger? No news at all. Are you sure all is well? How do you mean? I'm not having a good feeling at all. Ezin Nakeni is a wicked man. He may decide to kill the messenger just to pick a fight with you. He will not do a thing like that. There is no king in any part of Igbo land who is what his throne that will go killing a messenger of peace who was instructed from beginning to appear before him with the sacred Ogilis he leaves. It's not possible. Onyeze, trust me, he can. That man is wicked and has no respect for the rules of the ancestors. If it turns out like you fear that Ezen Nakeji has actually killed an ambassador of peace who bore Apopo Gilesi, it will simply mean that he has opened the very gate of evil and he is going to be annihilated. I saw him enter this path. You're certain? I'm very sure. Then he's not far. Who sent you after me? Please. Please. <laughs> I don't want to repeat myself again. Who sent you after me? The, the prince. <coughs> oh. The what? The prince? Why? He, he wouldn't say. He wouldn't say and you foolishly obeyed him. <sighs> we are sorry. Sorry. He sent you after a man who has done absolutely nothing to you. I am sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Oh. it what is it something tells me that the king of umo ganigwe has killed that messenger why would a man who calls himself a king kill a messenger of peace from what you know of the man does he cut across to you as one who is a respecter of tradition he's one of those men in positions of authority that one wonders always how they got to the said position. If it turns out that he killed a man who was bearing the leaves of Ogilisi, then he has crippled himself. The man who will send his army out to take what doesn't belong to him is definitely not a man of the gods. Even at that, I don't want to conclude that he has killed the messenger of peace. But if that be the case, that means he has taking the war beyond himself. 
Your Highness, going to war is not as easy as you think. The question is, how prepared are our warriors? Oyendoji, they may not have been prepared all this while, but unexpected emergency is the best way to know who is prepared. Then I'm still of the opinion that we wait for the return of the messenger before going to war. Oyendoji, I have this feeling that that brutal king may have killed him. As in Makenyi is not a lunatic to have killed an ambassador of peace. I'm deeply convinced that he cannot do a thing like that. When a man is power drunk, he can go to any extent to get what he wants. And that is what is playing out here now. Well, I'm a man of peace. And uh, I want us to explore every peaceful window of conflict resolution before embarking on a war. I know why I say this. I equally know why I'm saying what I am saying. We must have to take precautionary measures against a brutal king before he silences us. We're talking about a man who has no conscience here. My daughter has continued to have this revelation that she has continued to hammer on about how they are planning to invade our land. Have I not told you that several times? In that case, I volunteer to go to Muaganigwe Kingdom to talk to their king. And uh, I am convinced that he will listen to me. Oyendozi, I'm not going to allow you to embark on that mission. I know the man we are talking about. He may attack you. Really? <laughs> Maidens of our land. Who is after you? Her Majesty, we saw dead body here at the riverside. Did you say dead body? Mr. Majesty. Who is that body? We don't know, Your Majesty. <laughs> Both of you should go to the river and identify this dead body. Thank you. Thank you, yes, my daughter, yes. for this information. Thank you. What is going on? Jayaki, 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 You, stop. You're a maiden of Isama Kingdom, right? Yes. Very good. Very good. Please don't kill me, please. Please, please don't kill me. I'm innocent, please. Ah! Your king has committed a grave sin. Please. No maiden is ever innocent. I have, I have no business with the king, please. Yeah. Ah! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me, I beg you! Please don't kill me! Please, please don't kill me! I'm sending a very strong message to the people of Isama that we are not joking. That was a very poor performance. I wouldn't kill you. Oh my heart will.
Your plan is to kill me. How did you get into my kingdom? I am that Okolondo that no masquerade has ever humbled. I told you that before, yet you sent your rat after me. Let me ask you this question. What makes you think that you can kill me? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You sent Uche and Nduka after me. You are digging your own grave. Since you claim ignorance of what I am talking about, I would explain it to you. First, you killed Ogechi and denied it. And you sent your boys after me. Why are you this heartless? Or is it that you derive pleasure in killing people? Look, if you don't get out of here, I will kill you. Cut you into pieces and no one will ever find your corpse. I am equal to the tax. Let's do it. <laughs> you are one brave young man. <laughs> My friends, it's obvious that you don't know the gravity of the offense that you have committed. But I assure you with time, I would explain it to you bit by bit. Why is he getting away with many things? Why? Able and capable youths of our land. Your mission in this battle is simple. Get me the head of the King of Aziama. I want his offer. Because Rumo Ganigwe will annex Aziama Kingdom. Anything short of this. It's not acceptable. We know how important this is to you. I will promise not to disappoint you. I must warn. They have good warriors from the kingdom of Eziyama. Of course, you remember what happened when we had the last face-off. Do not take anything for granted. We are well of that, my king. And we promise to approach this war with zeal. That is the strategy. I want you to kill every creature that breathes and cut down everything that moves. Yes, Your Majesty. We have all we need. On no account must you allow yourselves to be captured and tell others if by any means you are captured, kill yourself. We understand this war and we promise not to fail. I wish you success. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. We are now in Aziama Kingdom. Our mission is to kill and then destroy the entire kingdom. We will not show the mercy. You, you and you, go on the farmlands and the sea and stream. Kill every living soul. Kill all of them. Poof. Kingdom. Hot to hot. Kill everyone you see. Kill all of them. Move. You, you follow me. King's palace. Let's go. The way this whole thing is going, this year we've passed and no many will be married. 
Why will you say that? If you don't want to get married, say it particular to yourself. Don't generalize it. Okay, if you feel what I said is meaningless, then I want you to show me any maiden planning her marriage now. What you are saying is not meaningless. But then, we are not the men who decide practically on everything. Well, mine is simple. If I wait till the end of this year and nothing happens, I will leave this town. Leave this town to where? Anywhere. One can find a decent man who will propose marriage to her. Wait a minute. Why do you sound as if marriage is the most important achievement any woman can make? Invite the gods. We should find a way to invoke the gods. Invoke the gods for what exactly? The gods have already given us the mandate to defend our kingdom in situations of war. The people of Umoganigwe are already in our land and it is reported they have killed so many people. What do we do? This is exactly what I was talking about. I wanted us to take the war to them, but nobody was listening. Now they are here, already attacking us, and all we are doing is just defending. <sighs> Any news about our warriors, your majesty? Not yet. But I am certain they will return victorious. Certainly, they will return victorious. Asiama people are too tiny for us. And it will take us... A, a, Few hours to destroy. <laughs> Dear Chair, my plan is to wipe Eziyama out of existence. And that is exactly what is going to happen. Eziyama of Eziyama, they have made the greatest mistake of challenging us to it well. Exactly. And I will make sure he pays for that mistake. We are coming out victorious. But I suggest we have to celebrate this. Uh, Your Majesty, I, I think I agree with him. We should drink and celebrate our victory in advance. Not yet. Why, Your Majesty, if I may ask? As it stands now, we will have to be sure of victory before we start celebrating. Does it mean uh, uh, His Majesty is no longer sure of our victory? I'm very sure of our victory, but the circumstances, as it stands now, does not warrant us eating and celebrating. Um, His Majesty is right. Let us be a little patient until our youth returns with victory. Victory is already ours, but if His Majesty insists, then we shall wait. 
I don't need it! I don't need it! You need this to protect yourself, your highness. No! I have not handled weapon of war all of my life! I have not! Excuse us. Mother. We are under attack. You need to take the weapon to protect yourself. I am not a fighter! Neither am I. At this point, we have to fight for our lives. No, I can't! Mother, I can't! You just have to try! No, no, no! I can't! Just. It's the end of the road for you. Do you know where you are? For your own good, I advise you to turn and go back to where you are coming from, or I am going to sacrifice you to the gods. Just surrender yourselves, or I start killing from you. That will not happen. Not why we are still alive. Remain where you are, or you are dead. Both of you, take the queen and the princess. To a place of safety. No, I'm going nowhere. You can take the queen with you. And remain oh. where you are. Remain where you are. Oh. Ah! Yeah! Ah! I am proceeding to the boundary between us and people of Umu Aganibwe. That is the piece of land where precious stones have been found. And that piece of land have come to dispute. I am going there to pray for peace. But as Onyendozi of Asia Makindom, I have come before Ajahn Uku to ask for permission before I leave. Peace is supreme. And peace we must have. We must have peace in Eke. We must have peace. We must have peace in Oria. We must have peace in Afua. We must have peace in Nkwa. Ise. 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 There is nothing to fight for. Give it up. Never. We will fight with the last drop of our blood. Exactly. Do you think you are cowards like your useless king? Who will sit in the comfort of his palace and send you to come here and make a fool of yourself? I am advising you to leave here now that you still have your two legs. Insult me all you can, but do not Remember where you are about my king! And if he does, what will you do? Both of you will end by my sword. Never! It's not even possible! If that was possible, then all of us would have been dead. You can't do nothing! I spared your lives. What? What? You sh I spared your life. You should be grateful to me and surrender to me. I am the princess of Eziama kingdom. I can never bow to an intruder. I am advising you. Live here now that your two legs are still intact. Or I am going to kill you just like I killed this fool. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, stop! Yeah! 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 Oh. Whatever you yeah. say! This land is evil, and I require you to leave now. What are you doing here? I am here to fight you. If you do not leave, <laughs> the action will incur more wrath from the king. Of course, you know what it means. It will lead to your death. Do I look like I'm afraid of death? Do I? Not be fair. Get out of the road now. Get out! Remember, the, 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 your remember Majesty, you take your daughter and run for safety. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Father, let's go. Father, I beg of you, Father. I wish to go on the battlefield. No. Why, Father? Why, Father? I feel incomplete as a prince of this kingdom, Father. Our people are at war. 
the youth are on the battlefield. And yet you ask me to stay here and do nothing? Father, please. I want to fight. Our youth are capable and are at your service. Father, this is a critical moment. We need to gather all we can to crush our enemies. Father, please! Our youths are capable and have assured me of victory, so there's no need for you to go there. Father, this can only be achieved by adding more manpower to the already existing ones. Father, please! I won't allow you, bro. <sighs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, we captured this man offering sacrifice on the disputed land. How? Speak for yourself! Who are you? And what were you doing on that land? Greetings, Your Majesty, Zenna Kenyi. I am Onyendozi, the peacemaker of Ezema Kingdom. I've heard about you. Thank you very much. When I heard about the incursion of your people on our land, I went straight to that land to consult the gods of peace and to ask them to take over the situation and restore peace between our kingdoms. You went to that land for your selfish interests and not to consult any gods. You went to that land because you heard there were precious stones on it. And you wanted to steal some. Can you deny this? I do many things, as in Nakeni. Stealing is not a part of it and will never be. You can tell that you're a stupid king. I am not lying to you, Onyeze. Lying is not in my nature. Because I know Lying will not only complicate, but also escalate the issue on ground. Guards, take him in and deal with him until he tells you the truth. Thank you. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Able use of our land, I commend you. Thank you, Father. You will all be rewarded. Yes, Majesty. This is progress. Exactly. That's why I said, this you are doing all right. And we must come. If any of you go into the air, I will tell you. And there's a way. Any problem, Father? Not a carry problem. Then why do you ask me to wait? We need to split. Why? What we need to do is keep going, not split. Any delay from our part, they will meet us up. Fine, Father. Instead of unnecessary or long arguments, how do you want us to split? Good. I want you to keep moving down this way while I go this way. Why the idea? Because it is not going to be fair if they capture both of us together. So when you go this way and I go this way, it is better. You have a point. Good. <sighs> 
Be strong, Father. And the same thing with you, be strong. Move this way, move this way. This is a deadly cage, secured by deadly, shocking charm made from Elulu. You can only remain in here. You cannot try to escape because if you do, you will be electrocuted by the great Elulu. But why are you doing this to a man of peace? Because you lied to me. You refused to tell me what you were doing on that land before you were arrested. I was consulting the gods. Liar. I have no reason to lie to you. I was only making sacrifice to the gods of peace. I have heard so much about you. That is why I'm giving you this last opportunity to tell me what you were doing on that land. I have told you everything I need to tell you. Is it only when I lie that you believe me? This man needs to be forced before he can say the truth. Yes. You see, you can save yourself from all these pains by telling me the truth that I need to hear. What were you doing there? I was praying for peace. We have precious stones we collected from that land. Can you help us sell them? I have no business with the precious stones. You really need to believe me. Princess of Eziama is in our custody as we speak. That is a confirmation. We have the edge. <laughs> you can say that again, Onyezi. I told you. <laughs> I told you. The people of Eziama are no match to us. Any time, any day. We will crush them. Thank you. Leader of our youths. Tomorrow afternoon you will have a meeting with me. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, youth leader, you have done noble. You will be greatly rewarded. Hmm? Exactly. Get some pan wine and bushmeat. But one person is missing. Who? The king of Eziyama. I believe he's on the run. But he will have no hiding place. Exactly. There's <laughs> nothing hidden under the sun. Nothing. Omo. Omo. Udogu. <laughs> Who knows how our daughter is faring now? By the gods, I believe the princess is okay wherever she is. You see? Ezen Nakenyi. Ezen Nakenyi is going to pay for what he has done. I am going to run him out of existence. My husband, this is not the time for planning revenge. All we need to do now is to pray for the well-being of our daughter. Yeah. The princess is fine. I have this very strong belief that she is okay wherever she is. I just hope so. I just hope so. If by the end of tomorrow, my people did not locate me to this place to give me feedback on what is happening in Eziyama, I am going to leave this place. That would be too early. 
I am the king. And I shall always be available for my people. Ah. You cannot protect other people at the expense of your own life. It's not done. I am here without the offer of Eziama. Tomorrow is a K market day, and under normal circumstances, I should pray for the people of that offer every other K market day. I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. Trust me, everything will be fine. That you didn't pray on your phone during emergency will not destroy anything. As in the Kenya, heed the ambassador of peace who was holding the sacred Akuko Gilisi. As if that was not enough, he still sent assassins into the palace of Eziama to come and kill the king. He is going to pay with his blood. My husband, let that not bother you. The ghost know why all this happened. And I know there must be a reason for it. Please. My princess. Anger will not solve any problem. You really need to talk to me. Oyendozi, you should let me be. At least for now. All I'm asking of you is the whereabouts of your father, the king of Eziam. I don't know where he is. How do you mean? The youth of Umuaganigwe came upon us suddenly. We had to stand back and fight for our land. When the pressure was much, we had to run when one of them came in to defend us. You mean one of them came to your defense? Yes. How possible is that? Honestly, I don't know. He was the one who asked us to run. Then he settled to engage his brothers. Maybe the gods touched their heart to defend the royal family of Eziama Kimba. Exactly. But at that point, I was ready to see the fight to its end, even if it meant dying in the process. My princess, you have really fought hard in defense of Asia, my kingdom. Much respect to you and my king. Bring her out! Bring her out! Where are you taking her to? I'm asking you where are you taking her to? Bring her, let's go. It's none of your business, old man. I will ask you one simple question and I want a simple straightforward answer. I don't have the answer to your question. Save yourself some pain and provide the answer. Then ask the question. Good. Where is your father? I do not know where he is. Look, princess, I am a very brutal man. Don't take me for granted, because I will do to you what you would not like. Don't lie to me. I am not a liar. You know where he is. I don't believe you. Tell me, where is he? Even if you hurt me. My answer will still remain the same. I am telling the truth. Okay. 
give you some time to think about it. Maybe then you'll realize that your life is at stake. Take her to the cage. I have you exactly where I want you to be. Are you sure about that? Tell me why you killed Ogechi. And I will let you leave. I owe you no explanation. Then you leave me with no choice. Better hurt you. What did you do to her? Do you think you still have the right to ask questions? If you hurt her, you will invoke the curse of the gods. Your gods of Ezdiama are useless. They have left you. I wonder the type of orientation you have. I pity you. You don't talk ill of the god. They don't abandon their own. But they have abandoned you. That is why you are here waiting to be slaughtered. Young man, you are digressing. The question is, what did you do to her? Ask her yourself. Did they hurt you? No. Are you sure? Yes. Where did they take you to? To question me. About what? About my father's whereabouts. That means the king escaped from them. That is what it is. If you do anything from this moment that I don't like, I promise you, I will separate your head from your body. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> the only way for us to find out is for you to do any nonsense. And I'll kill you. Now that I have your attention, the discussion can continue. What do you want? Why did you kill Ogechi? I did not kill her. I need not to remind you that I am in charge. And if you do any nonsense, I will slit your throat. Why did you kill her and why are you after me? I didn't kill her. Tell me why you killed her. Oh, I did not kill her. I sent Uchi and Nduka after you. Why? I believe my wife killed Ogechi. Why would she kill her? I believe I made a decision that she didn't like. I asked her to leave. It didn't go down well. This discussion is over for now. Don't move. You fools! It took you so long. Not in my prince. Shut up! My prince, are you okay? Give me my knife. Get me my horn. I will 
was there for a few hours trying to get her to get me a response. So you both told me what the princess said. Father, she has refused to tell me where her father is. What exactly did she say? She said she does not know where he is. Do you believe her? No, Father. Same here. I don't believe her. So what do we do now? You will apply force on her. She will collapse and die. It. And then tell you where her father is. That's exactly what I was thinking, Father. Apply some force. But I needed your permission first. You're my son. You have my permission. Thank you, Father. Why did you kill Gitch? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you know what I am talking no, about. No, I don't. Just one it came market day after the prince kicked you out. With the decision to marry Ogechi, she was killed. And how is that my business? I am not joking with you. Tell me why you killed Ogechi or I will use force on you. Is that a threat? Call it whatever thing you want. Tell me why you killed Ogechi. I have said it before. And I will say it again. I don't know what you're talking about. Ulako, for the very last time, why did you kill Ogechi? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> Ow! <coughs> 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 Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Youth Leader. You sent for me? Yes. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Once again, I want to commend you and your men for the good job you are doing for our kingdom. I want to know a suitable gift I give to you and your men. Your Majesty, we do not want any gift from you. What we did is a service to our great kingdom. I know. But a worker deserves some rewards. Your Majesty, if you insist. Very good. Well, give me between now and tomorrow afternoon. We'll think of something suitable for all of you. And, um, whatever gift you're going to give us will be highly appreciated, Your Majesty. One more thing. I gave you an express order to bring the King of Ezema to me. Why didn't you return with him? Your Majesty, we were determined to do exactly the way you ordered it. But we had an undue interruption along the line. Interruption? How do you mean? At the point we wanted to grab the King of Ezema, Nabife, the son of Eloka, interfered. And that paved the way for the king to escape. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they look out interfere in my affairs? I don't know. I don't know. Where is he now? It's like he escaped. Find him and bring him to me. Yes, Your Majesty. Once again, good job. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. What did you say happened to you? I, I, I fell from a tree, Papa. You can lie to anybody, but not to me. What I can see on your skin are cuts. From who? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out from you. So, from who? Papa. 
how else do you want me to explain to you? But don't worry about me, Papa. I'll be fine. Papa, let me get some herbs. I'm coming. Wait. wait. Do you know the, the exact herbs that's, that's needed for the treatment? Yes. I, I don't believe in Neka. Um, her grandmother was the great herbalist of her time. I have no doubt she passed the knowledge to her. Yes, Papa. She taught me how to use simple herbs. Papa, I'll be back shortly. I'll go, my daughter. <clears throat> you see, I don't want to press hard on these injuries. So, how did you sustain them? There's nothing to talk about my injury, Papa. As you can see, I'm fine. No! You are not fine! you here. Now that I have your attention, can we continue with the discussion? Oh, Grandu, please. C can you just untie me? Please untie me. Please. Well, not until you tell me why you killed Ogechi. Listen, I have nothing to tell you. The least you can do is just to torture me. Untie me, please. Because you're making a mistake. Please. Mm, let me think about that. Now, touching you is the, the least of my worries. Tell me why you killed Okechi. What are you planning? Well, I will quietly leave you here in the messes of the wild animals around here. And I assure you, they will devour you in one night. Kondu, no! No, no, wait, wait, wait! You can't! You, 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 no, 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 please, don't, 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 don't go. Should I take that to mean that you're ready to talk? <sighs> yes. Yes, I will. Please, interest me this time. What happened? Did you say anything? No. Nabife disrespected the king by fighting you? I warned him to stay off our way, but he refused. And now, he has incurred the wrath of the king on himself. It's a pity because I know that the king will not take it lightly with him. Now I know that the dead that will kill a dog will not allow the dog to perceive the smell of his excreta. And that is exactly what is playing out now. On his second thought, the Nabife that I know has always been loyal to our land. Exactly. I expected him to join forces with us and fight our enemies, but he chose to fight against us. And he will forever live to regret this act of his. He will regret it. You, both of you, continue with the search. Follow me. Well, I've told you all that you, you need to know. Please, can you now untie me? You felt the only way to get back at her was to kill her? Well, that's the only way to get her out of my way completely. How did you kill her? I stabbed her. That day, I knew you were waiting for her at the bush. And the prince sent Uchi and Induka for the same purpose. But I moved faster.
What is the meaning of this? Get out of my way. Get out! That's when you promised me you will never be seen around my prince. And that is never going to happen and you know it. It means you are looking for my trouble and you are going to have a full basket of it. <laughs> and did anyone tell you that I am afraid of your trouble? Look at you. I am going to kill you if need be. Stay out of my affairs. <laughs> Luck. You will do nothing. You will do nothing. And let me warn you. Let today be the last day you will stand my way because of this issue. For the last time I warn you. Stay out of my way. Ah! 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 the prince wrongly for killing Elgechi. I know. And I know you've gone to the palace to confront him twice. Who gives you information? Nobody. I have meant I have means of knowing what everybody is doing in their different places. I'm interested. Tell me about it. I will. But it will cost you. Name your price. Oh well, you have to convince the prince to come back to me. You know that is not possible. Everything is possible. Just do the right thing at the right time. You that's don't it. understand. The prince is now my worst enemy. Prince, he will not listen he, to me. The prince is not your worst enemy. He is not. You need to accept all that I'm going to give to you. And that is it. I'll try. What? All right. Very well. When that is done, you know where to find me. My daughter, what is it? We have to go now. We have to go now. We have to go. Go where? This is no time for questions. What is going on? Papa, the youths are on their way to grab Nabife by the order of the king. Nabife? Follow her first. Please, please, please. Stand up. Yes. I'm not going anywhere with you. Leave me. Nabife, they are closed. We have to go now. Nabife, leave first. Leave after you. Ask questions. Go. Sorry. Go, 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 go. Sorry. Uh, no, sorry, take care of you. Okay, Papa. Uh, what else of our land? I hope there's no problem. That does not answer my question. Where is your son? My son is not around. 
I don't believe you. Do I have any reason to lie to you? I have none. Search everywhere. What is happening here? What is all this about, if I may ask? There is no sign of him anywhere. And so what? He's not at the back of the hut. So can I now know what this is all about? Tell your son that the king needs to see him in the palace. It's very urgent. Let's go. What did he do? Hey! You are not tired of this place. Honestly, I am very tired. A little more patience. But my pot of patience is already broken. I have had it up to here. What if we go out there and they capture us? Then we are going to become their slaves forever. Ah. And the shame is going to be on the gods of Eziyama who allowed this to happen in the first place. The gods are doing their own. We can equally do ours by staying here for now, please. It is a shame. It is a very big shame that Ezema of Ezema has run away from his palace. He's hiding here in the bush because he's running away from a fellow king. That's a shame. The king who loves the last laugh is the one who loved the best. That fool of Umu Ganigwe will not love the last love in this. Thank you for saying the nicest of things. Thank you. Thank you, my husband. I am... I am not going to speak ill of the gods. Thank you. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. We are safe here. I'll be back. Ah. Sorry, they did not follow us. Uh, but how did you know the youth was coming after me? I heard them talking about it on their way to your father's hut. It's uh, okay. Thank you for everything that you're doing for me. It is okay. I love you and I will forever love you. No doubt you have proven your love to me once again. And I will always do that. So tell me, what happened? They, they killed... They killed Ujumwa. What? How? I'm sure you already know that our community and the people of Izyama are at war. The day the war started was the day they killed her. 
But she's a maiden. I had maidens as pair during war. You see? That is why our Umar Ganigwe youth must pay. Because they have broken all the rules of war. Killing women and children. As if that was not enough, they invaded the palace of the people of Izyama and was at the verge of killing their king. If not that, if not that I intervened. That was a noble thing you did. It's okay, sorry. Thank you. My father would have thought otherwise. That was why I did tell him. Apologies, my prince. What do you want? I am here to apologize for accusing you wrongly over the death of Ogechi. Okay. Yes. I was so curious to know who killed the only woman I ever loved. And I was the only person that came to your mind first? You wouldn't blame me, my prince. Because the way this whole thing started, and how she died, all facts were pointing towards you. So I was convinced in my heart that you killed her. I can swear an oath. I did not kill her. I know you did not kill her, my prince. You know. Yes. That's why I'm apologizing. But the next time you decide to point accusing fingers, Better get your facts right. Okay, my prince. Um, my prince, there is something I would want to discuss with you. Very important. Before that, I want to know who killed Ogechi. My prince, Ogechi made so many enemies when she was alive. And I strongly believe that one of those enemies killed her. Who are those enemies? You don't need to worry about that, my prince. She now belongs in the past. Let's just leave it that way. Where is he? We did not see him at home. I believe he's on the run. Exactly, Your Majesty. I want you to fish him out and bring him to me. He will not disappoint you. Did you meet his father at home? Yes. What did his father say? He said nothing. Did you ask him about the whereabouts of his son? We asked him. But he said he does not know his whereabouts. But body language shows he knows something about his daughter. I mean, his son's whereabouts. More reason you should find him and bring him to me. No problem, Your Majesty. It's about your wife, Olako. What about my wife? She loves you. I do not love her anymore. Why? She cannot bear me children! Hold on, my friends. That means you did not show her out because she wanted to marry Ogechi. Yes, I have been nursing that idea of throwing her out of the palace for a long time now. And I finally did it. 
so you are convinced in your heart that it's her fault that she has not conceived. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Listen to me, my prince. She is the woman for you. End of discussion! Come to the palace this evening. Let's drink some warm wine. To start the beginning of our friendship. I will try. Don't try. Be there. I want you there. Okay, my prince. Brothers, we cannot continue with this. We cannot continue without the king. We must go and search for our king and bring him back. You have a point there. But the problem is, where do we go and look for him? Uma is right. We do not even know if he is still alive. Our king is much alive. Okolondo, how sure are you that our king is not dead? Because if the king is dead, the signs would be everywhere. Okolondo, what signs are you talking about? It is something spiritual. Even if I explain it to you, you will not understand. Okay. Assuming our king is still alive, where do we go and look for him? The question should be, are we ready to go and look for him? Why not? He is our king and we care about him. That means we all have agreed to look for him. Yes. I will ask again, where do we look for him? My father told me of a place where great men go to hide during invasions. We will go there and look for him. If he's not there, then we would go and comb the bushes. We will not come out until we'll find our king and bring him back. That is settled then. Let's go and look for him. Brothers, you will go back to your hearts. Get the cutlass ready. We will meet here by sunrise tomorrow. Very well done. Greetings, my prince. What do you want? You have a visitor. Who? Your wife, my prince. Tell her I do not want to see her. My prince, she has been waiting for you since morning. I beg of you, please listen to her. Bring her in. Thank you, my prince. What do you want? My love, I want you back. <laughs> After all the regrets that you said I will live with, you want me to take you back. No, I don't need you anymore. My love, what, what did I really do wrong? What did I do? I mean, you used to tell me that I'm the sweetest woman in the world. You treated me in ways that men out there never treated their women. What is it? What, what have I done that have made you despise me so much? What? Give me children. Is that too much to ask? I love children. That is all I ask children of you. Children are gifts from God. Don't you get it? They come at their own time. Listen, my love, we, we just need to keep living together. You know, continue to do things that the oh, husband and wife do. Hold it right there. We are no longer husband and wife. That ended when you left this house. I 
I'm still your wife. No, you are not. You married me in a proper way. You married me in a way that a woman ought to be married, so I am still your wife. Leave me. I cannot leave you. Because I am the wife of the prince, so I cannot just live like that. And I am the prince. I said I have no wife. I have no wife. I cannot believe you are saying this. Because that is the right thing to do. That's why I'm asking you to do it. The king will kill me right where I stand if I present myself to him. The king will not kill you. Your words just confirmed you don't know easy, Nakin. That man is a beast. A monster. A blood sucker and a Sorry. And a demon. You trust me, right? Can you trust me again? <laughs> On this very one? No. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, why? I just told you the king will kill me. You are still asking me why. But I just told you I will make sure he will not harm you. Okay? Can we please talk about something else? My love, can you listen to me? Oh, Nick, I said no. No. It's okay. You're okay, stressing me. Sorry. Okay, are you hungry? Yes. All right, let me quickly go to the house and get you food. Okay? Okay. I'll be back.
Are you ready to talk to me about your weakling father? Talk to me! You asked the same question the other day. I answered you. Now you ask again. Do you expect that my answer will be different from the initial answer? And you called me stupid? Well, I am sorry, but yes, your mode of operation is very stupid beneath what is expected of a prince. You were just parading yourself as a man of valor, but you are nothing. Honestly, you need some training. I think I have been very friendly with you. And that is why you have the bravery to talk back at me. The worst you can do is end my life. End it already and stop acting like a man who is not even a man. I am not ready to kill you yet. I will let you feel pain and agony. You will cry for death and it shall be far from you. The more you talk, I see a weakling talking. You are the weakling daughter of your weakling father. I took your father out of his place. I will catch him and cage him and let him face the full rigor of Ilulu, the electric fish. Shh. I will annex your kingdom and let your people bow to me. Turn your kingdom into a village. I know what you're planning. To rape me again like you did and inject your poison into me. Do not try it again. Do not. For if you try it again, especially now that I have voiced out, it will be your end. Poison. The worst mistake you ever made was arresting me and raping me. For you made me cry. You shall never experience the cry of any child around you. My prince, there is something about her we are still trying to unmask. Take her to the cage. He raped me last night. He raped away his existence and his future. You thought you were the captor, but you are the captive. He will remain inside the box of regret and defeat. I shall be the only one that will... means he's safe. Very safe. <sighs> Thank the gods. Um, did he tell you why the youths are looking for him? Yes, Papa. 
What did he tell you? Papa, he interfered in the affairs of the youths. How do you mean? Papa, he fought the youths that were sent to grab King of Izama, thereby helping King and his family to escape from our fights. Is he mad? How could he do such a thing? Did he not know that he was supposed to fight side by side with our youths and help secure victory for our people? Papa, I blame him for his action too. He has to come out from hiding, go to the palace and apologize to the king. Exactly what I told him, Papa. And what did he say? He said no, but I will make sure he comes out to apologize to the king. Better, better. Okay, Papa. He said he's hungry. I came to carry food to him. Uh -huh. yes, There's Papa. some cooked food. Okay, Collect some and we'll give it. Okay, Papa. Ah. Omwaka. You, you cannot kill me before my time. Where did they take you to? I should have listened to you and refused to go take a bath. You're a lady, my dear. And I am a man. I can stay here for a month without a bath. You cannot. And that is why I allow you to go with them. He had other plans. He raped me. What? Who? The prince. The prince raped a maiden in custody? Ah, that's an abomination. I mean, the gods will not allow them to get away with this. Which gods? The ones that have abandoned us or forgotten us? Do not talk like that against the gods, my princess. Divinities and deities are not mortal. And long suffering is one attribute they have in common. If the gods are with us, they will not allow such punishment come upon us. My dear, whatever that is happening now is for a reason. And I believe that we shall live to understand it.
want it to happen. Don't yes. worry about that. Why? I know where she is and I will bring her back. Where is she? Your Majesty, the people of Umuaganigwe took her hostage. And I know where they are keeping her. Then we are coming with you. Exactly. It is going to be dangerous for you to go alone. We'll go together. If you insist. You people claim this place. Your Majesty, I did that personally. I discovered that there will be no need for us to go search for a king in the palace, okay? Obim, where are you? I'm here. What is it for to? Obim. So, you are the one that is hiding him from us. How did you get here? The question is, where is he? Who? Nabife. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you should know what I'm talking about. If you know wherever he is around, bring him out now. So that what will happen? Because he's a wanted man. The king is looking for him. And I've been asked to smoke him out wherever he is. Yes, but I'm not bringing him out. Then, you leave me with no option than to report you to the king. And of course, you know what the punishment is all about. Reporting me to the king will be the worst mistake of your life. On the contrary, reporting you to the king will earn me more respect and honor among the youths of this kingdom. Since it has gotten to us reporting ourselves, I will report you to the prince. I will tell him that you'll be sleeping with Ola, which contributed to her childlessness. What did you just say? Bring him out. Yes, my prince. How else am I going to explain it to you for you to understand it that I do not know where he is? I do not believe you. What you believe is not more important than the truth. Therefore, it is inconsequential. You want it the hard way. You want it the forceful way. So be it. Torture him! <laughs> Who told you about my involvement with Olak? Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm surprised because uh, no one, no man or woman ever knows about my secret with her. It's not just the past. You are still seeing her. In fact, she was with you last night. <sighs> Neka, you're making this up. Trust me, you're making it up. The thing is that you don't know me. Were you not with her last night? Yes, I was with her, but I didn't do anything. Because she was in her circle. If not, you would have had something to do with her. <sighs> Neka, you're a witch. <laughs> no. The thing is that I have placed myself where I get all the information I need. So forget about this chess. If not, I will tell the prince everything about you. You may leave. Look, Neka, make sure you don't tell anybody this. You know what it means. Hmm. Uh, where's Nabi Fen? Eh? Where is he? Where did he go to? Uh, where 
Where have you been? That was the top secret. Where have you been? I've been around. Enjoy your conversation with the fool. Story for another day. How are you? Uh, I'm well. Ah, it's still hot. Sorry. So the animal has been sleeping with the prince's wife? Yes. So why didn't you tell the prince about it? I don't want to spoil the prince's marriage. But you know that is capable of destroying the prince. Yes, I know. But the good thing is that the prince has chest all out. Come and eat your food. Sorry. <sighs> Yeah. 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 Stop him to stop. stop him. Hey, they will wound him. Stop he will not stop until he tells us where your father is. But he has already said he does not know the whereabouts of the king. I do not believe him. Do you know where your father is? Why do you find it so difficult to believe the truth? Ow. You, you regret this. Ow. You and your father refuse to acknowledge the gods. You killed an ambassador of peace, bearing the sacred leaf of Ogilisi. As if that was not enough, you raped the princess of Eziama kingdom. You will cry out for help and no one will hear you. Shut up! Stop talking to me about your gods. I am mightier than any god. Shut up! Otherwise, I will cut off your tongue. You can do nothing, you classless son of a classless king! Your evil has made you think that you are a god. You will be exposed to the gods and you will swallow your own words. I raped you in secret. Now you want to tell everybody what I did? Let me do it right here, right now. Bring her out! The prince has gone with him! Welcome to Ajah Nyuku of Asia Market. Did you see what I just saw? What? Something just descended from, from the sky into Ajah Nyuku. Oji, can you be serious for once? I know what I just saw. What do we make of this now? We cannot approach Ajah Nyuku when we are not prepared. This is an emergency situation. Let us go and find out what it is. Some rules can be exempted in this situation. That's impossible. Moments ago I was in my kingdom. Why am I here? How come? That's exactly what the ghosts of Isyama kingdom can do. You better undo whatever you have done 
before I kill you here! You no longer possess such power, my young prince. You think this is some kind of a joke, right? <laughs> Our enemy! Hold your sword, Hoti. <laughs> He ordered his people to the skill of our land. They, and they left our kingdom in ruins. This man left our kingdom in this condition. The, 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 that is not all. Could you believe that he raped the princess? Anyway, vengeance is of the gods of Asia Market. I heard that. He raped our princess? What? Bring him to the king's palace. And make sure no harm befalls him. You, because Prince, our princess was red. No, 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 now you move. Oh, and those may have forgiven you. The royal hands equal. May forgive you. But we, the youth of Ezra Kingdom, we never, 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 never forgive you for this struggle you have done to our kingdom. Move. Bring him along. Move. Now move. Dr. May, what happened? There was an invasion from the sky, Your Majesty. Even the princess was speaking from inside the cage, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the princess said that the gods are punishing us for killing the ambassador of peace who was holding the sacred of leave. Then she cursed the prince for raping her. The prince raped her? Your Majesty, the prince was about to rape her again before the invasion took place. Now go and get Chijindu here. Your Majesty, that is the problem. The prince is missing. How? We were torturing the mere prisoner so as to know the whereabouts of the king before the roaring from the sky happened. And the princess started cursing our land and the prince. And before we could know what was happening, the man of the gods of Ezeama disappeared with the prince. Where is the princess? She is still in her cage, Your Majesty. They will never allow anything to happen to the princess. Say, if you could, you have to approach the king of Omo by yourself. Never. I will never have anything to do with a man who undermines the gods. Never. My jewel is still alive. Mother. How are you? Father, very well. Huh. Greetings, Your Majesty. Onyendozi, where have you been? In the cage with the princess. What? I don't understand. How? What? You! Evil man! What do you mean by that? Did he hurt you in any way? Father, he did not only hurt me, he raped me! What? Lower your son! Lower your son! The gods of Aziama are, are already on top of this situation. Let us give them the chance to complete what they have started. You will never get away with this. Your Majesty. That is the peck of the ancient masquerade. 
the shocking waves that protects my land. It cannot depart from my land. Why is it here? You are a fool to educate me on the peck of Mawelulu of Umoganigwe. I came face to face with Obwefio Ganigwe, who asked me to approve this and give same to the rooted king of Iziama. That is the sacred instrument of my land. It cannot be with anyone. No! How dare you stand before my king to defend the sacredness of your kingdom? You killed a man who was bearing the sacred leaves. Say one more word about sacredness and I will kill you here. Obi, so many things are beginning to register in my head. I am now beginning to understand what is going on. Free him. Free him! This must be an invasion for real. Whoever has taken the dreaded peg of Manuelulu must be a different species of the human. The gods of my fathers. Let this peg not get into the wrong hands. The fool who has taken it does not know what he has. Cause him to drop it where we can find it. The boy, if you're going to is the boy, the great progenitor of Umaganigwe. Rise. Find your peg. Okurundu. Renduzi. I trust you to take good care of the prisoner. Obi is a descendant of the rested Isato Masquerade. He has this propensity of getting annoyed at any time. Try to control him. I understand, Oyendosi. I will do my best. Good. Good. Uh, let me go home. Freshen up and take good food. Hmm. I'll be back in the evening. It's okay, Oyendosi. You take good care of yourself. I thank you very much. Thank you so much for what you have done for Iziama. Yes, thank you very much for what you're doing yes, for this year. Onyenuzie, I am not sure I heard you. I am very sure you heard me, Onyeze. You see, the effect of releasing him will be more progressive than killing him. Do you understand what you are saying? We are talking about the son of a greedy man who went out of his way and raped the princess of Aziama kingdom. If not that you prevailed on me, I would have killed him. And now you are asking me to release him? I know you know this, but let me remind you that their progenitor has already given you the soul of Omoaganiwe. That is it, in front of you. He has made you their king. Now, killing somebody who is supposed to be an asset to us is not something we will be considering now. Where is that young man as we speak? He's with Okolondo. And I have instructed him not to manhandle him. Well, you know, see, I feel like killing him. I still feel like terminating the life of that fool. For your information, the princess has recanted the curse she placed on him. I am advising that if he can apologize to the princess. Let us treat him to a royal banquet 
and allow him to go. And are you are you okay? I don't understand where you are coming from. You want us to treat a rapist to a royal banquet and let him go? How? For the umpteenth time, Onyeze, we have their show right in front of you. So we are supposed to treat them as those whom we have an age over. My princess. My princess. I am sorry for everything I've done against you. I pray you forgive me. I know you can kill me here and now. The sacred peg is in your costly. My kingdom is crippled. My princess, I vow to be a different man. I pray for your forgiveness. You spoke ill of divinities. You dismissed the gods of Eziama as nothing. Finally, you were begging the princess. My princess, I know I have offended you beyond all forgiveness. But I pray you forgive me if there is a price that I can pay to show that I am grieved for all the things I committed against you and your people. Say it. I vow to pay. I already told Onyendozi I have forgiven you. I have also reversed the curse I placed on you. Come with me. Thank you, my princess. I instructed you not to come back here without the elders in council. I went round calling all of them, Your Majesty, but they have refused to come here. Why? They have been warned by Obuefi Oganiwe. What? Your Majesty, we need to retrieve the sacred peg that was stolen from here. The elders said, as long as the sacred peg is not here, Royalty has been uprooted from this family. Which of the elders said that? All of them, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I beg of you. We need to go and apologize to the King of Eziama. So that royalty will not leave this family for real. And here they come. Hmm. The princess is now the princess. Princess. Welcome. Sit down. Sit down. It is a royal banquet. Exactly in line with our custom.
message you sent through the guards is very insulting and I demand an apology. You demand an apology in your position as who? As a king of Umoganigwe, I deserve some respect. And further ordered the mother of a peace ambassador bearing the secret of the leaf. Obuefi Oganigwe told us through the Biahafa that you are on your own. What is this conspiracy all about? You are no longer the king. What? I am still the king of Omo Oganigwe. You are just the king of your own compound. A man who can kill an ambassador of peace bearing the leaf of Ogilisi cannot be a king in any kingdom in Igbo land. Are you the one talking to me like this? Ezema of Eziama, who is in custody of the sacred peg, is now the king we know. Come with us to enter a peace accord with him and everything will become fine again. Never! Never! In our culture, a king remains a king until death. And I'm still the king of Umoganigwe. This conspiracy will not work. As long as I remain king, all of you will suffer. You will pay for this. Colonel, sure. Your Majesty, take him back to Umu Oganigwe and hand him over to his father, my very good friend. Make sure no harm befalls him. I will do as you instructed, Your Majesty. Good. Report back to me as soon as you are back from Umu Oganigwe. I will do that, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I want to thank you for your kind gesture. I'm grateful. And I shall tell my father of the good things of this land. I thank you. My regards to your father. Onyendozi. Yala. Two wrongs would never make a right. Um, they are coming back to their senses. And um, all of a sudden, you are beginning to sound like me. An advisor can be deemed a great one if only the person he advises can listen to his advice. So I come to say thank you for listening to me. It was indeed a very tough decision that I had to make. I thank the gods I did and now I am seeing the hand of the gods in all of this. Exactly. And greater things are still coming. Can you explain what you mean by that? <laughs> Onyeze, any king who has ruled his people in line with the dictates of his ancestors will never be abandoned by the ancestors. That's the much I can say for now. That is what you have said and I heard you. But can you explain what you mean by that? <laughs> Father! My son. Welcome. Thank you, Father. Confirm to me you were treated in a dehumanizing way and I'll set the entire Asia on fire. Father, please calm down. 
I have come to realize, Father, that you do not understand fully the carriage of kings. That is why you behave the way you behave. And that has been the problem of this kingdom, Father. When did you start talking like this? When I met true royalty. Father, I have always lived a lie. And I blame you for this. Why are you blaming me for anything? And who is this you refer to as royalty? Father, despite everything I did to her, I asked for forgiveness and she forgave me. Even the king of Ziyama forgave me. Father, you killed the ambassador of peace and that uprooted royalty from this kingdom. What have you done to my son? You son of a cow! Your Majesty, he came face to face with the truth. Even as a prince, he experienced royalty for the very first time. Then he realized that he was never a prince. Hold it! Are you telling me this useless son of mine went to a classless kingdom to deny his royal oath? Ezema of Ezema is now your king. By the verdict of Ubuifio Ganigwe, your majesty, your Umu Ganigwe has become a village in Ezema. Agree to this, and you leave. And disagree, and you will see the gods. Father! Father! Please! You cannot do that. Don't. I beg the princess for forgiveness. And she forgive me, even when I didn't deserve it. I've also asked her to be my wife. She agreed. Father, please. Are you such a fool? You want to marry a loose woman who you already raped in the cage of Elulu? Are you that stupid? Your Majesty. The princess is not loose. The prince will marry her to reignite the new Umo Ganigwe. And I would ask your majesty, are you ready for this? Never! Never! Father. They say my people are slaves. Never! Father. Never! They say my people are slaves. My son cannot marry father! Father. Father! 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 We have heard of the untimely exit of your father, Ezem Nakeni of Umu Ganigwe. Please, accept my condolences. Please, Prince Chijindo, also accept my heartfelt condolences. But I want you to understand one thing. Your kingdom is now an integral part of our land. Your Majesty, I do not have a problem with my kingdom being under your command. Coming in contact with the princess has changed my life entirely. Allow me to continue to be with the princess and I will be satisfied. Royalty or no royalty. The princess is perfect for me, your majesty. Your father was killed by the gods because he was no longer qualified to be the custodian of this sacred peg of Mangwe Lulu. Today, I am giving it back to you. Thank you, Majesty. Go back to your land with the princess 
and they restored the institution of royalty that was taken away from your family. Like he said, your kingdom is now a part of our kingdom. But I am not interested in having your kingdom to be a part of my kingdom. I want you to go back to your land, restore royalty, and the rule as a king. But let me tell you something, son. As you rule, do not ever undermine the gods. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will do as you say. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Your Majesty. I've seen the light. Everything is clear under the sun. How's it rise? Now I've seen the errors of my ways. I realize that I cannot go on this way. I found the true meaning of the world to live again. I believe. I believe